this is no ordinary table. It's a Fisher-Price baby activity table. So it's filled with lots of fun things to keep a baby busy for hours. But what makes it even more extraordinary is that it turns into an activity table for toddlers, too. And what happens after that is anything but ordinary. A sumptuous feast of holiday delights. Gourmet treats for any occasion. The most intense PlayStation games ever. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil, the director's cut. Nelson puts Bill Shock and Logan Torrey. Welcome. Because they were uh, published over and over again. Uh, and also they would have known the Bible and they would have read that there were giants in the earth. The Bible tells of mammoth beings who actually walk among humans. These biblical giants are the children of fallen angels and the cause of the flood of Noah's time. If you do search the Bible, you will find no fewer than 18 specific references to giants or races of giants. Almost entirely all of them are in Genesis. And they're, most of them are just casual references, that in this kingdom there was a giant who beset the land and so on, or there's a reference to an in the kingdom of Og, which was populated by a race of giants. The most famous giant in the Bible is Goliath, the menacing Philistine who was slain by David using only a slingshot. According to the Bible, Goliath was between 10 and 12 feet tall. He wore armor that weighed over 150 pounds and carried a spear that weighed 19 pounds. When you look at the, at the, the figures for Goliath's size, you're talking about somebody who was an order of magnitude bigger than even the biggest people. I mean, they were making a point in the Bible. Goliath wasn't just a big guy. He was a giant. To people in the 1860s, religious faith usually means unquestioning acceptance of the word of the Bible. I think that for many people, certainly in the 19th century, the Bible was taken as literal fact, as, as, as a veritable history. These were not symbols, they weren't metaphors. There really were giants, there really were whole races of giants, and they're all gone now, but they existed in the past because it says so in the first book of the Bible, in Genesis. The Bible doesn't say there were giants on the earth, it says there were giants in the earth. So it was quite natural for them to believe that uh, the petrified body of a giant had been found in the earth. And discovered in upstate New York, one of the most religiously active regions in the country. People in central New York were actively engaged in religion and actively engaged in really uh, a diverse array of religion. It became known as the Burnt Over District because of the, uh, the fervor that took place in terms of uh, specific religious advocates. And the folks of, uh, of a country town like Cardiff. This whale of a tail, Ariel. Her swim wand is magic. She can swim. Her adventure's about to begin. Who's crying? She dove right in and followed the sound. A little lost whale is what she found. Poor baby. We'll be a family. We'll have fun spot you and me. Game Boy Advance. <laughs> She is thinking of it just yeah. as she makes the suggestion. Most recently, Bujold starred in another Alan Rudolph film called Trouble in Mind, playing Wanda, cafe owner and nursemaid to the walking wounded of a strange town, including her former lover, Chris Christopherson. I'll give you this room. Rent free. Now that I can do for old times. New times. But all but don't ever cross that line again, Hawk. What I got's mine. Private. Uh oh. One more fine. Yeah, one more fine. For running me down in the fire plug, too, there's a great big cell at the jail for you. One more fine. Yeah, one more fine. Don't you bawl me out. Don't you call me names. Oh, tell it to the judge. I know your names. One more fine. Yeah, one more fine. Eating all alone will make me lazy. Talking all alone will make you crazy. Please let me go. Just this one time. You can drink my gin, you can have my dough. So 
please, won't you let me go? Just one more time. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, baloney. about it. Computers were not designed with kids in mind. That's why Fisher Price and Compaq created Wonder Tools, amazing hardware and software that lets little kids control an interactive world where they can unleash the learning power of the computer and have a whole lot of fun along the way. There's never a dull moment. Wonder Tools. Fun and learning just became more wonderful. Good evening, everyone. A Japanese news agency is reporting tonight an explosion aboard a Philippine jetliner on its way to Tokyo. Two passengers were killed, at least one has been injured, and according to the report, the plane made an emergency landing in Okinawa. And there was panic, but no injuries reported in Mexico City today from a strong earthquake in the Pacific. We'll have all the news for you on News Center 4 tonight at 11 o'clock. Health isn't the only part of you that talks. You can also express yourself with your hands. But a wart can cause all sorts of problems. Well, now there's new Clear Away Wart Remover. Clear Away is clinically proven to remove warts fast. Our medicated disc dissolves the wart, while the cover-up disc conceals it. So no one has to know you even have a wart. And within days, the wart begins to disappear. And you can show your face again. New Clear Away from Dr. Scholes. Conceals as it heals. Morphic eyes. So that's, that's why I like that's them. The word you're looking you could for. fall in love with a machine, I couldn't. Okay, fine. Coming up next at the movies, Richard Pryor tells all about his career and how it nearly killed him. I hear my little bird over there on the other side of the studio. He thinks it's dinner time. As soon as we finish this, I'll have to feed him. He did so well. Little rascals, you have to feed them. <laughs> it seems like about every 20. Trouble? It's Miller. From risk management, he's in distress. Miller. Monty, what's our capacity? Well, headroom 38.5 inches, leg room 42.1 inches, and of course, shoulder room. Mister, I need hip room. Front seat or rear seat? Rear seat. A full 54.1 inches, sir. That's more than enough. Got room for one more? Climb aboard, Miller. It's easy to get carried away. The Accord from Honda. It's Rupert. Boy, have I got a great surprise for you. Can anyone guess what it is? It's more Fox 24 Kids Club artists. Cassie Kruzicki, Sam Binder, and Aaron Wunger, all from Sharon's Care Center in Wausau, send in their best drawings. Keep on watching Fox 24. The Lame List, or What's Week This Week.
Brought to you by Seattle's heavy metal community. Lame. R-rated movies with no nudity. Lame. lame. Very lame. Double lame, triple lame. Bellevue girls with attitudes. Lameish. Donny Osmond in leather. <laughs> Utah. Oh, lame. lame. M-80s with short fuses. That's very lame. Very lame. Girls who get mad if you pass out. Lame. 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 This has been the lame one. She's been naughty. She's real nice. So what happens when a railroad tycoon unwraps a 120-pound present? What? Find out this December in Thank You, Santa. Forget those other. Sunday night for millions of television viewers revolves around America's funniest home videos. It is one of the hottest shows on television right now. It's a show that somehow manages to make watching home movies humorous rather than torturous. America's funniest home videos is now a top ten program. It's even beating Murder, She Wrote with Angela Lansbury on Sunday nights. Moviegoers and TV lovers alike are hooked on America's funniest home videos, the hottest show in the airways right now. America's funniest home videos seems to appeal to the whole family. Last Sunday, America's Funniest Home Videos beat the powerful 60 Minutes in the Nielsen ratings. The thing that's so great about the show is it's really part of pop culture. It's very exciting to be part of a show like that. Uh, it's in newspapers, it's in magazines, uh, they're parroting us on sitcoms and in movies they've dropped our name. Guys, do you really have to videotape pop? I want permanent proof. Besides, this is the way the FBI does it. This is the way the CIA does it. This is the way America's Funniest Home Videos does it. <laughs> You don't really know the impact a show has until you open up the funny papers in the morning and you see a cartoon caption with your show mentioned in it. Whether they were making fun of it or not, it was, it's really exciting to look in the paper and become part of people's consciousness like that. A lot of shows have done parodies of our show. You know you're not doing badly if people are making fun of you in a fun way. What happens when Nazi snipers start firing unexpectedly? Well, off the top of my head, I'd say a lot of scurrying. <laughs> Pirate TV presents Central America's Funniest Home Videos. It's south of the border hijinks on Central America's Funniest Home Videos. Now we return to America's Nuttiest Home Videos with your host, Ned Nosy. Well, we're back. You know, I really love tonight's lineup of home videos. But then again... Welcome, you've got mail. Click, click, talk it up. AOL email. Jackson makes a strong showing with urban voters, but Dukakis claims most of the delegates in New York State. Michael Dukakis has now pulled way ahead of the pack of Democrats, and the nomination is almost out of anyone else's reach. But Jesse Jackson has become a major player in the party, and his supporters express the hope that he will be the first African-American vice president. I think Jesse Jackson, if he is uh, in second place, should be consi given consideration. At a political dinner in June, the victorious candidates sit side by side. It's the first time since 1968 that an incumbent president is not running. The 
the primaries are calling attention to a number of the nation's social problems which seem to be getting worse. Overall, drug use in the U.S. is declining. But during the 80s, the number of Americans abusing cocaine has skyrocketed. In the early part of the decade, this white powder was considered a white-collar drug. Coke was it. Coke was chic. And at $100 a gram, it had the high price tag to match. Like more conventional status symbols, cocaine had become another sign of ambition and prosperity. Cocaine has a unique ability to stimulate the brain's reward centers, uh, to become just important, just as important to the chronic user as food, water, sex, money, family, job, career. The myth that cocaine is glamorous and safe to use is shattered when it kills 22-year-old Len Bias in 1986. Bias embodied the American dream, a starting forward for the University of Maryland basketball team he was the Boston Celtics number one draft pick. His death shocks the nation. America learns that cocaine can kill. Money, money, money. Cocaine is big business. Americans are spending over $30 billion a year on it. Both suppliers and users are a formidable adversary in the war on drugs. Trying to help out, Nancy Reagan embarks on her own anti-drug campaign. And to all of you children, thank you for coming. And if you're ever offered drugs, please. New from Nerf, the N-Strike Recon CS6. The blaster you can customize for any mission. For night missions, equip the red spy light to spot hidden targets. For multi-target missions, the six dark quick fire clip gives you extra firepower. And for long range missions, Flip up the sight to nail your target. The N-Strike Recon CS6, only from Nerf. Blaster comes as shown, other blasters sold separately. Batteries not included. Nerf. A cartoon story um, tried to show in very small print how uh, racism had built up over the years um, since the end of the war to 1976. This is one of my favourites, Rich. I don't know um, what you think, but uh, I think... Partly because we'd really got into it by this stage, it's kind of right in the middle. It's um, and it it shows you that mad sort of poster thing where it opened out, and um, the centre spread of this um, was this mad and amazing um, Peter Tosh speech, which um, he made in Jamaica, and you can see what we were talking about about the sort of te technology and. But this is paper, and every one of those little steps there had to be cut out with a scalpel. It's, it's long before computers, and it took hours and hours of making little shots of each of these and then pasting them up and cutting it out. And um, it's a, it, it was often, we'd often work all night on, on you know, a spread like this. This one's great. This is 12 months of heavy manners. It's a carnival issue. So this is for the Notting Hill Carnival. Um, and it, 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 this is a classic because it turns, first it's got, here you've got fantastic graphics. This is all Lewis. In August 1977, the National Front and demonstrators opposed to their march clashed in the streets of Lewis. <laughs> in the wake of the racial violence that followed, the anti-Nazi league was set up. Paul Holbrough approached me because, like him, I was very anxious about the, very worried about the rise of the National Front uh, at that time. They were pushing the Liberals into fourth place in by-elections in the West Midlands, for example. They polled, I think, 10% in the Greater London Council elections. What was needed was certainly a campaign that confronted the National Front. At the time, the National Front appeared to Tony Wilson, in his grandiose way, said that it was necessary to build a cathedral to popular culture in Manchester. The problem was that it only attracted a tiny congregation. Going, it was freezing cold, it was massive. There was never anyone there.
Although we didn't realise at the time, everything you were doing was raising money for the club. Now back to the Pokemon Marathon. For hundreds of years, there have been sightings of hideous creatures said to live at the bottom of the lake. Come on, you don't really believe the monsters. What you gonna do? Hello there, thank you. This is my partner Loma DeSantis from San Diego, California. This is the dynamic nightclub and television singing star Steve Rossi. Hello, this is my partner Betty Lesser from Cambria Heights, New York, and we're all here to play Password. Yes, it's Password. Here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. I tripped over the cord. Good afternoon. It's good to have you with us. Happy good Friday. Good it's a good Friday. It's a good Friday. How are you? Love your tie. Thank you. It, uh, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. told me once, never wear a tie that distracts from your face. So I did. <laughs> When you got a face like this, you distract from it. You got Is that why you wear glasses? How I, how, listen, I want to talk about your record. You have a single record. He has an album, and I have a single record. Tell my friends what this record well, is. Well, I'll tell them. He has an album. He has, he'll tell about that. My record? Yeah. Oh, I did a... the police department. For I have a record with a police department. No, 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 no. Oh, it's I a have very a serious... single record uh, on roulette. It's a 45, and it's a speech I wrote on Israel. And... Uh, it's very... It's very moving and very it's very moving, well worth very listening well to. Very narrative. And on the other side of the record, Steve sings Exodus. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. The hard way in a tank. <laughs> Loma DeSantis. Let's see. What does your husband do, Loma? He has an insurance business. Good. Nice to have you back here to the Passport today. Now, about your album. It's called A Man in Love. It's on roulette. It has some great songs. There. Love is a Many Splendid Thing, Exodus, How Deep is the Ocean. Good. A man in love. <laughs> and you're the man in love. Yes. yes and if his wife ever finds out, we're in a lot of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Betty Lesser. Let's see. What are your plans when you finish school, Betty? Well, I hope to go into musical comedy of some sort. Oh, oh fine. Really? We'll Give sing a little bit. We'll play Password in just a moment right after this message. Let's see what these piranha think of a few snacks. Beef flavor, bacon flavor corn snacks, and now pepperoni. A tangy snack made from 100% pure meat. Well, that confirms it. Meat lovers everywhere prefer pepperami to anything. Well, almost anything. Get your teeth into a pepperami. Hey, that's a supply of Ritz Seems on the Fritz. No, no, stop, darling. Don't blow your top. I always keep another box handy. Dandy. He knows Ritz crackers are richer, crisper, and his mouth is full, or he'd help us whisper. Only the disco takes Ritz. <laughs> chance to catch them all starts March 13th. The bees been training really hard for this race. It's winner takes all here for the Honey Nut Cheerios. It's going to be right down to the wire for that sweet taste of honey and nuts. Oh my! He's won! The bee has won! Huh? These dreams have got to stop. You could instantly win a cool trip to meet a hot music superstar, Christina Aguilera, Five or LFO. See specially marked boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios for details! Well, nobody was singing about uh, gypsies and, and homeless people then at all. Do you spare one thought for the gypsy with no secure position? He wrote about these poor people stuck on the streets long before anybody else. At the magistrate's decision of winter. Comes 
first record seemed to just jump in there. There were all these great songs that sounded like Paul McCartney songs. Down on the River with Flowers. What a great tune that is. Here I sit with time running out on me. The specialness of any writer is in the contrast. The contrast between a bleak song like Winter Song and then a joyful, beautiful song like Out on the River with Flowers. I mean, that's that really and down as well. Those three really stand out from that first record. really strong harmonies so it was lovely to listen and try and unpick what harmonies they were using and where we should place that within our group. They're kind of really lovely open harmonies so they're really enjoyable to sing. The album was a steady seller but nothing spectacular. We released Clear White Light and Lady Eleanor with singles. They got great reviews but they weren't hits. Strat came up with the idea of putting three of his bands into major concert halls None of us were headliners, so there was Linda's phone, Genesis, Phonograph Generator, travelling around the country together. It was six bob a ticket, which today's money is 30p, and everyone sold out. To be honest, Van de Graaff and Genesis were the obscure ones, and the draw was almost 90% from Linda's phone. I had absolutely no idea that uh, Genesis toured with Linda's phone. Tell me my life is about to begin, tell me that I'm a hero. Alan was probably more guarded than the rest of the band, checking us out with a sort of north-south barrier of these rich boys from the south. He did have a barbed tongue when he wanted. Hey, volcano, do your stuff. Fire! Mask. Wow. Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, volcano and outlaw, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Got the answer right here. Where bow ties are cool. How do you do? I'm gonna be in New York a while. And a man always stands for a lady. You're in a jam. Here I am. The answer is in black and white. Pardon? TV was never this cool. Sort of a flexible message, you might say. Buzz till dawn. Weeknights starting at two. Once you kind of relax, settle back, and enjoy yourself. Let's play, baby. Are we all set, panel? Tom, for whom did you vote? I voted for number one, bud. Uh, I think they were all... Thank you. <laughs> Don't welch now if it isn't number one. I, I think they, we didn't get any misinformation from anyone, I didn't feel. And uh, so it was more a matter of demeanor than anything, and just a guess. Mm -hmm. Pat? I voted for number two because he recited the oath so beautifully. Yes. Johnny. I voted for number two because he's got the most hair and he'd be the, the warmest up there. <laughs> oh, really, huh? And finally, what is your vote, Betty? I voted for number one. <laughs> Let's just hope, shall we? <laughs> well, there we have it. The votes are all in. On my honor, we have done our best to see how well we can come out with the truth in this little situation tonight. As we discover now, which one of these gentlemen is the young man who lived under the ice for such a long time? So will the real Kent Gehring please stand up? You fool! Boy, I'm telling you, I don't know where that comes into scout law, but he sure did it, didn't he? Wow, good job, fellas. Let's find out about the other two. Now, number one, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Sonny Carr. I'm appearing with the Charles Dupont. Ah, my friends at Nintendo have placed four Super Mario games on the same cart for less than 50 of your pounds. Super Mario Brothers 1 is pretty tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2 is a little more advanced. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3 is... <laughs> but Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels is so difficult, it could actually unhinge the balance of your mind. Aren't you that talentless celebrity women find repellent? You see what I mean? He's completely tonto. Mario all stars infuriating, manipulative Nintendo. Scooby-Doo often works.
works with a shifty guy who goes by the name of Shaggy. The Wednesday Night Gang is one chilling lineup. Tonight, starting at 8 on the World Cartoon Headquarters Cartoon Network. B-L-U-E spells smart. Wait, no it doesn't. The Duval County Spring Special Olympic Games will be held Saturday, March 13th at the Bowles School beginning at 9 a.m. If you or your organization would like to volunteer, call the volunteer hotline today at 359-5200. Tree Hill Nature Center offers free trails, tours, and environmental exhibits on a 40-acre preserve located at 7152 Lone Star Road. Call 724-4646 for more information. Oh, the buildings have gotten taller, but we were still hanging on to our old pioneer ways. We were thousands of miles from a world where change was an epidemic. War. A world in the middle of a terrible depression. A world made small by the coming of the automobile and the aeroplane. We were continents away from that civilized world. A pioneer town, proud of its rough edges, its exotic, unruly past. It was to this Baghdad by the Bay that a certain young greenhorn came in 1936. He found a job on one of the city's daily newspapers, writing about the low life and high times of the city he's called home ever since. It was possible to stay up 24 hours a day and i never go without a drink. It was a wide open town. Uh, the tenderloin was wide open. Anything you wanted was available. Then there was the music box over on O'Farrell Street, which is now the Great American Music Hall. And there disported herself um, the famous Sally Rand with her fans and her showgirls and her after hours club upstairs called the Blue Room. Those days, Sally Rand wasn't the only Randy Sally in town. Sally Stanford, a famous madam, because she was she had a huge house on Russian Hill, which was owned by the man who who ran the city of Paris, a very proper fellow named Paul Verdier. The Verdier mansion was leased by Madame Stanford, and her girls were all very like like socialites. They were like junior leaguers. They were dusters and they wore feather boas and they wore corsages and they, they acted like ladies. Come on, Scott, give me a fry. Uh-uh. America's favorite fries. McDonald's. Go get them. Please. Get your own, man. American Express, how can I help you? How can I help you? Oh, sure. Of course we help small businesses. Why don't we start with your cash box? Okay. We can arrange a line of credit for you. We can take care of them. It'll give you more flexibility. We actually have several cards to help you manage. Then little known Pharaoh Tutankhamen. As my eyes grew accustomed to the light, details of the room within emerged slowly from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will return after these messages. But, uh, it wasn't. Now it's ticking down. Cardinals just want to get to the locker room here. At this point, the Cardinals don't have to come out of the huddle. They can stay right where they are, turn around, run down to the end of the field, and get themselves a nice cold drink and have a seat. Well, the Seahawks still very much in this game, and it looked in the beginning like the Cardinals might roll over them, but we have only a six-point deficit at halftime. So Gene Stallings happy to be ahead, but I'm sure unhappy that they weren't able to take greater advantage of their opportunities to, to widen the lead. They hurt themselves. With some penalties, a turnover or two, a fumble and a, an interception. But uh, you can see Phoenix with 276 yards dominated the actual play during the first half. Green and Smith working on the young cornerbacks of the Seahawks, catching eight passes between them and producing a Phoenix touchdown. So at halftime here at the Kingdome, 
The Phoenix Cardinals 13, the Seattle Seahawks 7. Stay with us for more NFL on CBS. What is that? I wrote it. Freedom in thought! Freedom in thought! Come on! Freedom in thought! Freedom in thought! I have often struggled to understand you. <laughs> he did his first control experiment. He took tiny aquarium shrimps and dropped them at random intervals into boiling water. The recording he obtained from the plant convinced him that the plant could detect the death of the shrimps. It was a stunning claim. Other laboratories rushed to repeat the experiment, but to date, no one has succeeded in replicating it. But Baxter has not been daunted. His researches on plants have continued, and he offered Horizon a demonstration. This closed-circuit television system uses a split-screen device which shows the experimental area on the top and the simultaneous output from the plant on the bottom. The electronic link cannot be faked. Now, first I'm going to try to find a spot where I can do a little cutting here. He first and tried the plant's reaction to the death of some of his own body cells. See if I can get some interaction here. I'm now starting to feel the cut as I'm getting under the surface a little bit. I want to get it opened enough to where I can get some... And Chet for Mom this Mother's Day. Bring home eight pieces of your choice, large mashed potatoes and gravy, large coleslaw, and four biscuits, all just $11.99. Great memories are magic. 105.7. We're chasing earlier. One of the uh, when citizens saw they heard somebody run upstairs. All right, turns out he dumped, jumped inside these oleander bushes and was hiding down here. We're still looking for a knife. I saw this. I saw this blazer. This is a Channel 7 Eyewitness News Brief. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. Tonight on Eyewitness News, a developing story. Seven children rushed to the hospital because of what they breathed in the family car. We have a live report. Also, Princess Diana leaves England, but she cannot leave behind the controversy. A report from London. Plus, the big blow-up on the Upper West Side. Excitement rising in the air as we get ready for a Thanksgiving tradition. And Joel Siegel's personal moments with the Beatles. Paul talking about sex and going to the circus with John. Siegel's Beatles scrapbook at 11. Rainbow Make a Meal presents the Sub Shop play sets. Cooking out, then rainbow packs sold separately. With the Sub Shop make a sandwich, slice the roast beef on top. Stack pickles, tomatoes, lettuce and cheese, mushrooms and peppers. Don't forget these. With play you, you can, can make, make a meal impossible to beat. Hey, kids. Want to give your kids some get up and go? They can get up and go to Chuck E. Cheesy, where they'll have a blast and burn some energy, too. One good reason any day's a good day at Chuck E. Cheesy's. And here's another. Just ask your parents to log on to ChuckEcheese.com for money-saving coupons that give you great deals on all the great fun at Chuck E. Cheesy's. Where a kid can be a kid. And the past success of its creator. It has some great ingredients. Uh, it's originated by Susan Harris, who... Uh, of course, did Soap and The Golden Girls and Empty Nest, and has a wonderful track record. And it's produced by her partners, Paul Witt and Tony Thomas, who are really good at making hits out of shows. And as soon as she says hello, dear, we They're hoping to hook a late evening adult audience with a surreal pastiche of comic styles. Mother, is it my choice or not? You can't have it both ways. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the show's mainstay is a risque humor heavy with double entendre, that actress Terry Garr plays with relish. <laughs> this show, every week I read the scripts, I go, what? They're unbelievable, the innuendos. Everything is, you know, sex. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm ready to go up with some nookie. <laughs> <laughs> I watch these shows that are on in the early evening about teenage kids, about talking about the basketball game. I go, no, no, no. I want to see what's really going on. Who's doing what to whom and why and how. We'll do it. You and me, right? Right. 
Let's kill him. Denise! Oh, there you see. I reach out and you reject me. Rejection of the show by an audience is likely to bring a swift reaction from ABC, which has ordered the first 13 episodes, but no more. But there's a striking paradox in the way the creative team is mindful of the commercial pressures, yet dismissive of their actual influence. If I had to worry about what people were going to think and who was going to turn it on and who wasn't going to watch and the demographics and the zapping, I would never know. I, I would never write. I simply write to please myself. And if it pleases other people, it's wonderful. However, there is a new realism in network television with little room to indulge the creative spirit. The business is redefining itself. There are now four networks. There are an infinite number of cable alternatives. Um, the independent stations are programming more competitively than ever. So uh, they're looking to remain competitive. They're looking to recapture lost audience. Ten years ago, most people had about five stations to choose from and the networks held a 90% share of the audience. Now, the average viewer has over 30 choices. He scores us a picture. Next time, bring a pistol. That way you got a chance. Casino, rated R. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Sunday, December 3rd, ABC presents an all-new musical extravaganza. Bye, bye, With one of the most talented casts ever assembled. With Jason Alexander, Vanessa Williams, China Phillips, George West, and Tyne Daly in the world premiere of Bye Bye Birdie, December 3rd on ABC. Go get your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. The sun is shining, come on, get happy. The world is waiting to take your hand. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. We're going to the promised land. Perfect for the holidays. Clinique Happy, our newest fragrance. Wear it and be happy at Dillard's. Coming up on Fox 4 News at 9, the president reacts to growing calls for his resignation and a lone star adventure in the skies above. The X-Files is brought to you by Gateway. Let's talk about your gateway. Kids Network just heard a startling rumor. Keep your eyes and ears open. This season, Carmen San Diego will finally be brought to justice. You're flying on the wrong broomstick. After hiding out all summer, the world's master thief can now be spotted weekdays on Fox Kids. Gotcha, Carmen! The adventure continues. Get to me, and I am yours to take you. Will Carmen be caught, or is it just a rumor? Game's not over till the lady in red sings. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Starting Monday on Fox Kids, that's where. Sure wish I was moving to the city with you. Yeah, me too. Nobody knows how you're feeling deep inside. You've packed up all your memories of fun and happy times. You've got what it takes, a new world's round the bend. The city crowd, the city's loud, new things to explore. Places, different faces, will you make friends like before? Hey, let's go get something. Hey, yeah, and I'm hungry too. Hey, Jim. Yeah? Aren't you coming? Oh, yeah. Starting a friendship in a place that feels like home. You're the reason we do it. If anybody can do it, McDonald's knows you can. You've been on a diet. It looked terrific. My new diet, AIDS High Protein Balanced Diet Reducing Plan. I mix the powder with skim milk for breakfast and lunch, then eat a well-balanced dinner with the family. That tastes good. AIDS High Protein Plan makes it easier to cut calories. You still get vitamins and minerals for good nutrition. Sure worked for her. <laughs> the AIDS High Protein Balanced Diet Reducing Plan. I'm going to try it. What would you like? <laughs> to look like you. Bacon, crispy bacon, tasty bacon! <laughs> Where is it? Where's the bacon?
bacon popular. Story at 11. Yummy, crunchy bacon, bacon, bacon! There in that bag! Who wants a bacon strip? Me! I get it myself, but I don't have thumbs! Yum, 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 it's bacon! Mm, I love you. I love bacon, I love you. I love bacon, I love you. I love bacon, I love you. Bacon strips made with real bacon. There's no time like bacon time. Introduces the Joyride, the amazing new total body video experience that will help your child develop healthy habits that will last a lifetime. It's the perfect family fitness gift. Only the Joyride gives your kids the non-stop action of the most popular video games combined with the healthful benefits of full body exercise. At last, here's the way for your kids to get the exercise they need and love it. Yeah, and the Joyride is the coolest thing to happen since Sega and Super Nintendo. With Joyride, you feel like you're really flying that helicopter or in that plane cockpit. It's like... You're there, and I can totally get into it, and the action is incredible. Research proves that kids need regular exercise for proper physical and mental development, and the Joyride promotes physical fitness in a way that is really appealing to kids, and it helps them develop a lifelong appreciation for health and fitness. And it's great for kids of all ages, and this is the most awesome video game experience I've ever seen. It turns my video games into total action. I just grab the controllers, and I'm on my way to the coolest workout on the planet. The Joyride helps kids burn fat and calories, build hand-eye coordination, and work their muscles. And it's from Nordic Track, so you get the quality you expect at a price you can afford. What else could a parent want in an exerciser? Oh, and it's the one they'll use because it's fun. Joyride High Technology turns ordinary video games into an engaging full-action workout. The left and right-hand game grips with regular and turbo fire buttons give your kids complete control for total intensity. It's the revolutionary video experience that's good for your body. And it's from Nordic Track because we care about kids as much as you do. Only Exercise, the premier manufacturer of innovative home exercise equipment, could bring you the amazing Joyride Video Exerciser and get your kids on their way to a lifetime of good health. Order your Joyride, and for a limited time, here's a very special holiday offer, an easy pay plan. You make only four easy payments of just $99.99. The holidays are here. Give your family the best gift of all, the gift of health. Order your Joyride today with our 30-day in-home trial. What are you waiting for? Call now. It's hard to surprise people during the holidays. So shop at Staples, the office superstore, and give them something different, like a laser printer, electronic organizer, or cordless phone. Over 5,000 gift ideas at a guaranteed low price. Staples, yeah, we've got that. His fighting skills are unstoppable. Explosive energy is his to command. He's all these powers and dozens more. You kept the cover, you kept the boots, you kept the clock, and they're yours, but let's hope they total 101 or more. They are, beginning with the clock, $25, $25. Boots, $40. We now have $65. Cover, $25. Total, $90, and that's not enough. Raymond, thank you. Bye-bye. We're going to bring our first three contestants back and play our first showcase showdown after this. A little, a little strange, but... Uh... It's very close to the sort of flavor. Good Lord, look at him go. Well, this dish is to have some oomph to it. You know, in Africa, um, the, the weather means, in most of those nations, means that you use, you use um, hot spices in order to preserve things, to save them, so that uh, when you find a, a piece of meat that will be uh, usable for your family, you have to cook it in such a way that it's going to last a couple of days. And you, the refrigeration was unknown in some of those uh, so earlier cultures, you see, traditional cultures. So, and they, they still cook the old ways. You still, you still eat those things, even though you have a big refrigerator. You still spice it the same way because it helps you remember who you are. That's what a cuisine is for. Who am I? Let me tell you. And you start cooking, you see? All right, let's see. I think we have everything in here but the salt and pepper. We do. All we need now is some salt and pepper, and we're set. Now, we're going to simmer the browned chuck steak, chopped up whole chicken, one yellow onion, and one green pepper, one can, everything's one, you see, one can of, um, of our uh, tomatoes. We're going to simmer that for, oh, probably an hour and a half until everything's tender. Don't, you don't need too much salt in this now. Be careful. Until everything is tender, and then uh, this will be eaten by, well, let me show you how it looks. Let me put a lid on this. And we'll put this on a burner, you see. And uh, you want to see what happens when you cut one? Uh, find a room here. When this is cooked, get ready. Here's Biafra. There we are. This is an absolutely marvelous dish. You see, see the beef is tender, 
The chicken is just falls right off the bone. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? You know, the first time I ever served this dish, uh, I served it to a group of students when I was a chaplain at the university, and they gathered in my home every day for a course on food and theology. That's how I got into this thing. Some of you have asked, so I might as well tell you the truth. A bunch of students um, took me from my office at the university, and we began to discuss the meaning of the politics of starvation, uh, the meaning of food and theology, the history of the table, and out of that came a course that I taught every year at the university for, for a long time. And the first Kex is better than the best. Why? Kex has the people for sales, service, and support. Your organization will run smoother with Canon NP and CLC copiers. From reliable desktop models to the latest in color copying technology, Canon NP and CLC are unsurpassed. See what Canon and Kex can do for you today with great performance, price, and superior quality. Kex Better than the best. Strong candidate. Thank you. Now, let's find you the right job. Julie's a real asset. Good luck, right. Julie's highly skilled. Julie's a software expert. Julie's an online research pro. Julie's one of our best. She'd be a perfect fit. She'll be there tomorrow. Looking for a better job? Let the specialists at Office Team work for you. Looks great, Alex. Let's find you that job. Besides its legendary power, payload, and overall toughness, Dodge Ram is also the longest-lasting line of full-size pickups on the road. And now, Ram also offers exceptionally low financing. We've just made it easier to separate yourself from the crowd. Dodge Ram. Different. The Computer Chronicles is also made possible by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe. With me today is Paul Schindler, Northern California editor of Windows Magazine. Paul, we're talking about Windows 95 today, the new version of Windows. It's hard to believe it's actually in 95, going to be the 10th anniversary of the introduction of Windows. It came out in 85, right? That's correct. And it took a long time to catch on. Now, there was Windows 1 and 85. This is Windows 2 from 1987, the MS-DOS executive. That's so the way you got into two, it. Yeah. Uh, 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 clearly, a version that presages Windows 3, a lot of the same applications, paint and clock and notepad, but, but cruder, less adjustable, and uh, uh, slower. Uh, all in all, it, it just wasn't quite the, uh, the revolutionary application that Windows became with version 3 in 1990. Well, that's the question I have for you. Windows is so hot now. I mean, it is the platform around the world. Yet when it first came out in 85, it took five years before anybody paid attention to it. Why? Well, there were two problems. First of all, there's a psychological problem. There was a feeling that real men don't use mice. <laughs> and that, that stood in the way of the graphical user interface on the PC side. But more importantly, Microsoft was on the cutting edge. They were pushing the capabilities of a 280 with yeah. Windows 1 and 2, and the machines, the platform simply wasn't sufficient to support what they wanted to do. When 386s became common in the early 1990s, finally there was a platform that provided Windows the space and the speed it needed to become a reasonable performer. So you needed the CPU, you needed the RAM? Absolutely. Yeah. So it wasn't only the software problem, partly it was waiting for the hardware to catch That's up. That's correct. Okay, today we'll show you some of the features of the newest version of Windows. It's been getting rave reviews, and you'll get to see why. Before we show you Win95, let's take a look at the interface Windows is always compared to, and that's the Macintosh, of course. The newest version of the Mac OS is System 7.5. Without the Macintosh, black and white desktop publishing of Cupertino, California would be hard pressed to meet its deadlines. The Mac is still the favorite of graphic artists. Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito. I'm your twin brother. Well, obviously. The moment I sat down, I thought I was looking into a mirror. Twins? Twins. we twins. That's right. Roger Ebert says, big laughs. Gene Siskel says, two thumbs up. Ah! Arnold says, I'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito are born to be bad. Twins. Late night Friday on News Channel 5. Hey, don't say a word. I just called to tell you I love you. Sprint introduces short calls free. I know we live miles apart, but I just can't get you out of my mind. Now, when you switch to a dime anytime, a quick hello or getting someone's answering machine is on us. Not that I need to know, but 
How do you feel? Tingly all over. That goes for wrong numbers as well. Get calls under 30 seconds free when you sign up for Sprint Sense anytime. Call 1-800-PIN-DROP and put time on your side. New hairdresser, dear. No, new luster cream shampoo. And a very wise daughter. Why do so many single men use Old Spice aftershave lotion? Let's ask one. Dave, what are your reasons? Well, let's see. There's Julie. And Karen. And Peggy. Joel. Mm. And Sandy. And Beth. And Bridget. Yes, uh, Dave, thanks. That's the way it is with Old Spice. If you're single or even if you're not, try Old Spice aftershave lotion. Linen carriage. Got a bit of salmon, bit of caviar, of course, and a bit of the soup. Look at this. It's like murder on the Orient Express. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. God, I fell asleep. Like, it'd get off in time. Wow, that was close. The monastery of St. Boris and Gleb was used as a museum during the Soviet regime. But since the fall of communism, the Russian Orthodox Church has enjoyed a big revival. Places like this are now used for worship again, but restoration is slow. Back in the Soviet times, a lot of churches like this were like closed down, mainly because the Soviets sort of discouraged religion in a big way. But it's all coming back now in the last 10 years. That's why this is like half a building site, and the rest of it is beautiful icons. This is a traditional wooden Russian church built in 1742. And one thing they were proud of was building them without any nails at all. You can see the wood is just slotted in. But what I've noticed is that someone's come along and for no reason at all started banging nails into it. Look, there's one down there doing nothing. A night in a hotel here only cost $7. But I'm getting back on the train and taking the sleeper to St. Petersburg. Oh, look at this, it's brilliant. I love train journeys. I've got about six hours to go before I get to St. Petersburg. But look at this. As long as the world is a little warmer this time of year. As long as elves outnumber Scrooges. Just as long as the best gifts come without ribbons or tags. Maxwell House will always be good to the last drop. the color just the way you like it and now look how here tonight and that despite a real wide turn watch the turn he makes watch him get real tight on it in the front at this time it comes up on its side we're going to go over to samson dan patrick makes a good turn but he looks over and sees what's happening and here the stomper 
Texas stomper has got it straightened out. Watch him, Ken Brew. He's up in the air. Oh, man. And I mean, flying. Then it angles off to the left hand side. He lands in a little trouble, goes right up on the nose. He looked at the floor of the Astrodome. And then he bounces over the finish line. And it looks like to me he's got stopping problems. Of course, he can't keep it down long enough to shut it off. But he does go on. 88 Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge champion army. For the national championship, it's one run. Chevrolet and Ford. Who's it going to be? Let's out. Nails to Chevrolet. Chevrolet takes the win. Look out. Pressure. He's Rod in Lintow. trouble. On his nose. Now on his side. And he is down. Rod Lintow has flipped USA 1. The first person out there is George Smith, crew chief of Bigfoot, helping Rod Lintow. They are trying to pull it. Here he comes out of the bottom of your truck now. He appears to be okay, but he has flipped the Chevrolet, but he has won the national title. Chevrolet officially the number one monster truck in the country. What happened when he went over the last jump? The left front wheel hooked on him, ducked into the body and rolled him. So Rod Lintow takes it on its side, but wins in Freedom Hall the national title. Yeah, I, I, I went to jump out and push it back well, over. The tire started throwing in and I just, it just kept wrapping under. I don't know if that tire let loose and come back. I had nothing I could pull on it. I had nothing. It just hit and it just started to fold under and it, it just like slow motion. I was hoping to jump out and push it back over. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of interesting. The first man to come over and help Rod Lissau was Rick Hoosier. This was a war. The people in Louisville, Kentucky are standing up. 18,000 people just saw a tremendous event. If it's any consolation, Ride. <laughs> we'll let you get back to your crew. We noticed Everett's over at working, but you are okay, right? Yeah. Just a little sign, but... 26, 1983, the Gaynor family had a heart attack. When John had his heart attack, really happened to all of us. Our whole family changed. One of those changes is our diet. Now it's low in saturated fats and cholesterol. Fleischmann's is a part of that diet. It has zero cholesterol, and another thing, it tastes terrific. I mean, I want to keep him healthy. But I want to keep them happy, too. Fleischmann's. It does your heart good. Explained what it was. Not really. It just said Woody. Turns out it was the only performance of my dad live with an audience. A wire recorder is actually something that was only used for a year and a half in the 40s before they used tape. got out of that old when I was a kid growing up, I was like, is it the songs? Is it what they stand for? When I heard that wire recording, I went, there it is. And that's because of Steve. When my dad came to New York, it was 1940, and he moved into a flea bag hotel on 43rd Street and 6th Avenue. Looking out the window, watching New Yorkers walk by, in the two weeks he was there, he wrote five of his greatest songs. The first one being, This Land is Your Land. Wow. This land is your land, and this land is my land. From California to the New York Island. He had just traveled across the country. So it was a kind of a journal about what he'd been through. This land was made for you. At the bottom of This Land is Your Land, he wrote a little line, all you can write is what you see. As I went a walking that ribbon of highway, and I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me. This is all connected. We were talking before. Everybody's connected. This land was made for you and me. Write what you see. It's a different type of writing for me because I've always gone inward to discover things within myself. This time, it's more like reporting. <laughs> I love this. Someone asked me if any of these lyrics were personal because I was writing them about other work presents a course on how to meet girls hosted by johnny bravo i once kept a goldfish in my mouth for an entire month don't worry the course fee is refundable it's three hours of johnny bravo saturday at three on cartoon network 
fresh fruit taste, wagon of natural fruit drinks for breakfast and snacks. The Stewart Hot Sandwich, a variety of delicious sandwiches served piping hot in minutes wherever you see the Stewart Hot Sandwich sign. Condition your hair while you shampoo with Wella Balsam Shampoo. Leaves your hair looking healthy, shiny, and soft. Even repair split ends. Well, Wella Balsam Shampoo. One wipe to treat it up so often absorbs dust, doesn't scatter it. Greaseless, odorless, windless, safe for any service. It's even rewashable. One wipe. Daily syrup, naturally thick, naturally rich, delicious daily syrup with a rich country breakfast flavor enjoyed by Americans for over 50 years. And a 24 ounce jar of 2B honey, super for spreading, sweetening, topping, baking, and cooking pure old fashioned goodness in every drop of 2B honey. Now, Julie, we call this high low because I want you to pick out the three highest priced products on this table and leave the three lowest priced products. You do that, you're a winner. And, Julie, if you end up as a winner in this high low, low game on this day, you win this prize. A trip to Mexico. We'll fly two of your round trip economy from Los Angeles to the Holiday Inn of Guadalajara, Mexico. Built in the colonial style of Mexico with conveniences of today. Spacious rooms, suites, and convention facilities, all at the Holiday Inn of Guadalajara, Mexico. It's a prize package worth $718. And Julie says Mexico is just where she wants to go. All right, Julie, let's go. What is one of the three highest price products? Honey, the honey is right down here on the end. How much is that honey? That honey is a dollar and forty-nine cents. We put that up in the high row, and now, Julie, I'd like to have something else to go up there. The syrup, the daily syrup. How much is it? A dollar thirty-nine, and the audience seems to approve of that choice. Now what? The sandwiches. Let's see. They are a dollar twenty-four. Now, the lowest price that you have up there is $1.24. Let's hope that everything else on the table is less than $1.24. How much is this? This is 99 cents. Not even close. How much is this? Ooh, two and a quarter, and we're shot down. How much was this one? Was that the only one? 69 cents. You were all right with the others. Thank you, Julie. Bye-bye. Chadwick obtained from the Lions... That's his fifth catch as a Seahawk. And a big catch. Dan lands in coverage. David Craig just puts this ball perfectly right where he has to. Chadwick beats land inside, and Eddie Anderson makes the touchdown save and play. Gets his bell rung in the process. Chadwick out of Grand Valley State, and Anderson is still down. Craig now 17 out of 25, 195 yards, and a touchdown. 319 to go in the quarter. Back after this. That's intense. Oh. Oh. Holy oh. crap. Can we do it again, guys? <laughs> yeah. Left, just let's play numbers. Eight, nine, one, two, one, one. Okay, has it done anything? His sister was back there at the scene, said that he uh, was up at the house and he was drunk up and that his uh, probation officer had called earlier, said he had. Then we had an abandoned car that they tried to get into and steal the radios out of it. It was all in one thing. Plus, they didn't find any nar narcotics in the car. So they were going to put busy. Rogers guys down as suspects on this stuff, do you think? Or do you I think they're linked to be identified with it. I think they're just stuck with it. The NAACP has been fighting for freedom for over 68 years.
for freedom for over 68 years. It wasn't easy. It still isn't. But you can help. For information about the NAACP Special Contribution Fund programs, contact the branch nearest you or write NAACP, 1790 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019. Son, it's time I pass down the secret of my... Homemade spaghetti sauce! <laughs> First, I take herbs, oregano and basil, and I put in the herbs. Then, I take pieces of tomato, and I put in the tomato. Yes. <laughs> then, finally, I take parsley, and I put in the parsley. <laughs> and that is the secret of my... Mmm, homemade sauce. Excellent. Prego, homemade taste. It's in there. Boy, that's some secret. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a videotape copy of today's program. Call toll-free 1-888-310-7850. Please specify the show number and the topic. is served and they're they're not easily impressed you know they've and only on game book and now back to our show on bad tv hey. Hey. sears presents the t-shirt that's really a dress now presenting the t-shirt dress go out and look your best your day is gonna be great now at Sears, great-looking polyester T-shirt dresses in lots of styles and colors. Just $9.99 each. $9.99. Just $9.99. You're looking mighty fine. Your day is gonna be terrific. At the fashion place at Sears. Just $9.99. Great. Just so my stomach needs, here comes my obnoxious boss. Hi, Daddy. Uh, oh, boy. Better make it Maalox. Because extra strength Maalox Plus neutralizes more acid than Mylanta. So you better make it Maalox. You'll, you'll get an adult. And, uh, either way, it makes it all worthwhile because you're, you're getting somebody's car back that was taken. And, you know, I guess that uh, makes it all worthwhile. 415. Can we get up by there? 415. It's going to be at 411 North Patton. Are you four zero? Are you four zero? You stopping around? Right? Yeah. Uh, right here, right here for uh, thirty feet. Ten four, you getting in and nine. Where's the other car at? All right, I'll put it on here. 531 to 463. There he goes, man. He's running. 409, You got it, right? 61, we're in chase. Northbound on Lancaster from uh, Ledbetter. Ledbetter. What kind of car is it? It's a Cadillac sedan. Yeah. Four door red. Be advised, white looks top. like a 92 Cadillac sedan, maroon in color, occupied by one black male. He was being followed by a, a small Toyota. I think think that suspect, the second suspect vehicle is following us. And 4, 14, and 41 are around. Also, third supervisor on here. Stay with me. Northbound Lancaster from Ledbetter. Just crossing over Ann Arbor. Crossing Ann Arbor. Stay with me. Oh, man. Turning west down. Oh, they are Kane striking superhero. Change to Viking superhero. A uh -huh. ding and real swing and shield. Bling and superhero. They're the latest. They're the greatest. Ultimate superhero. The Marvel superhero.
2010, and it is no easy task picking up nine years later the story of Stanley Kubrick's magnificent science fiction epic, 2001, A Space Odyssey, with its prehistoric apes discovering weaponry and with its mysterious black monolith appearing out of nowhere every time mankind was about to make some great leap forward in knowledge. 2001 left off with uh, trouble aboard a U.S. space mission to the moons of Jupiter, and 2010 picks up with a joint U.S. and Russian mission to the same place as a nervous astronaut and a nervous cosmonaut attempt to board the old Discovery spacecraft from the original film, which is still out there in orbit. Hey, do you speak any Russian? No. That's okay. Do you speak English you? I'm fogging up. Hey, Colonel. Have you heard the one about the marathon runner and the chicken? Don't patronize me. I'm getting nauseous. If you buy with your old chalk, don't close your eyes. Look at the middle of Discovery. The middle, not the ends. Look at the part where it's moving the least. Don't take your eyes off it. I'm not going to throw up. I'm an engineer. Maybe you better patronize me a little. What about the marathon runner? Uh, I made it up. Oh. I'm looking a bit chip now. You see any lights? No, no light. 70 meters. You're almost there. How's that for patronizing? Boy, Tony, your balloons are gas. Quick, after the formula. <laughs> the formula makes Kellogg's Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this good breakfast. They're great. All right. Here we are on the Fritos roller coaster. What is this called? Fritos? Frito? Frito. 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 I guess that makes a lot more sense than Fritos. <laughs> no this ride. Yeah, the, the Fritos theming would be a very different ride. Here we go. Ooh. Hooray! Hey. Big giant arm seat in front of us. Hello. Hooray! This is a very different layout for a roller skater. Here we go, more Fritos. More Frito. More Frito. Oh, there's the name. Frida. 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 You can take our lives, but you can never take our <laughs> <laughs> All new episode of Total Drama World Tour. When the contestants travel to Athens, Greece. Dub, who's going in? And compete in their own Olympics. Victory is at hand. Oh. It's no gut, no glory. I'm so scared. Uh. I really don't need to see Owen's gut. And I definitely don't need to see this. All right, time to drop the laundry. Don't miss an all-new Total Drama World Tour. Monday at 9 on Cartoon Network. To the extreme! In the Silver Dome, the Seattle Seahawks 37, the Detroit Lions 17. Detroit's record is now 1-4 and four on the season. Darrell Rogers' uh, record, the head coach with Detroit Lions in... Uh, the last three weeks is now one and two. One of Steve Largent's uh, touchdowns on the afternoon. He had three 15 catches for 261 yards. And we'll be back in just a moment from the Silverdome where the Seahawks won at 37. The final once again, the Seattle Seahawks 37 and Detroit 14. So the standings in the West right now, you know, they're not in the right order. Don't worry about that. But Seattle's record is 3-2. San Diego and the Raiders are playing. They're both 3-1. Denver, Kansas City playing. Denver is 2-1-1. Kansas City's record is 1-3. So uh, the other four teams still to go in the second half of... The 1989 Buick Regal. It brings a new kind of style to the American road. It's a regal new feeling, a style that's appealing, the look of a Buick today. It's the pride and a smile, a regal new style. It's the road that regal commands. Oh, the great American road belongs to Buick. Save up to $1,000 on Regal with $400 cash back and option packages. With 20% juice. Make it cooler. Ever notice that haircuts at some places are really impersonal? It's you. It's you. Well, at SizzWiz, we take the way you look seriously. First, we talk to you to find out what you want, then cut your hair using our special methods. So the haircut you get at SizzWiz will look great till the next time you come in. SizzWiz, a quality haircut every time. Adventure! I'm going to grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back to us. To infinity. And beyond. 
Houston, you are clear for hyperlaunch. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Beep. Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. Buzz like you to Star Command. Come in, Star. Welcome back to Seattle, Washington, and unlimited hydroplane racing this year. There's been some changes in the format. It's been a little controversy. We went to the drivers and asked, how do you like it? I think we're providing a heck of a show for the fans. Uh, it's proven to be a, a real winner with the press and the fans, and our new sponsors are recruiting to the sport. Um, I just would like to see the top qualifier get his pick of the lane. That's the way it's done in auto racing. And we're going to talk about it in November. We're uh, going to run it through Honolulu this year, and, and it's going to be a great show. But if we put a little more into either qualifying or, or dicing in the hands of the drivers, well, it'll be a better show yet. Well, it's an interesting concept. I am, am from the old school of boat racing. I got used to the old uh, style, but uh, we'll go with this one. I'm having fun. Uh, it's, uh, like I say, again, an interesting concept, and it seems to be working. It really pleases the fans, so that's what counts. The new format is very interesting so far. We've raced four races with the new format. Being that I've been racing now for 22 years, and most of those years were running under the old format, I'm a little bit uh, pro for the old format. But, uh, you know, the spectators really do like the new format, and uh, we do have some bugs to work out of it, but I think it's going to work out fine. Well, I think it's great for the fans. It's good for the sport. I mean, this is a spectacular event, and we're here to put on a show. A lot of people pay a lot of money to come to these things. Uh, sponsors spend a lot of money to put on a good show, so that's what we're here to do. And I, I, I really feel it's put on a better show. But as far as a driver or a crew standpoint, it's a lot harder on us, but uh, that's our job. You know, we go on to put on a show, and, you know, the act just gets a little bit tougher, but we're just going to have to suffice. Gets a little tougher and a little wilder. The Miss Budweiser you see there on the right of your screen has been involved in a couple of crashes under the new format. Jim's with the owner of that boat. Well, here's a guy that has to be wondering, after two straight races of playing dodge cars and getting your boats banged up, is this one ready to go? Well, yeah, Jim, as you've seen uh, here this week, we uh, set a new record qualifying, and uh, uh, Miss Budweiser's ready. The crew worked around the clock, and quite a few volunteers pitched in to help. And uh, uh, But it's back together, at least one of them is, and... Uh, We'll hope that this will survive here today. We're ready now for Heat 1A. UR5, Ed Sheen and Harbor, Todd Yarling in lane number one. Lane two is the Pepsi American Spirit, Mark Evans driving the U50. Lane three is the Winston Eagle with Mark Tate, the U10. Lane four is the Super Range Golf Boat, George Woods Jr., the driver. That's the U8. In lane number five, the U-12, Miss Budweiser, Scott Pierce, the driver of the boat, and in lane number six, the U-24, oh boy. Have you noticed what a lot of your clothes are wearing these days? Labels that warn you not to use bleach. But if good old bleach is out, what's in? Boratine Plus, the bleach substitute. It comes on strong enough to whiten white things, strong enough to work on stains but never too strong for colors or permanent press. Boratine Plus, the bleach substitute. Because your laundry says so. This is the place to be seen on your yellow banana scooter. People know I'm the boss when I'm on the road. Call me soppy, but I do love going across the river at night in a big city. It's crazy. Woo. Just like a student, nutty. Oh, hello, hello. Now we're in the seedy part of town. Oh, yes. Peep shows. Oh, I seem to have broken down. Oh, Budapest is famous for its thermal baths. Throughout the country, there are over a hundred of these spas, all open to the public. <laughs> Underneath the city, Budapest. Millions and millions of gallons of hot thermal bubbling water. So they built lots of baths like this. The water is 38 degrees. It's open all year round. Most people come to the baths just to relax, but also the waters are good for medical complaints. The baths are clean and the waters change daily, but keep your sandals on. And have you been here in the winter? What's it like there? Oh, I was, yeah, yeah. It's yeah? very cold, yeah, it's freezing. Is it? Outside, but in the water. Minus 20 degrees. Minus 20 degrees. And you still come down here, why? No. It's very fun. Is it? Yeah, it's very fun. It's very, very healthy, you know, this water, it's very healthy. Yeah, it's a mineral water, this one. You know?
Are we ever going to get a game of chess? I know, I know. How long have we got to wait now? They're starting in the morning and they're finishing the evening. We've been waiting here for about an hour and a half. Look at that, the skin's gone all pruney. It's enough posing for one day. I'm going to go and get a massage. Oh, I felt something there. Pretty. Pretty. I need to roll over and take the pain. They couldn't find a bigger bloke, so they had to make do with this one. Get that anger out, mate. Get that anger out. Come on. God, I don't know. I know she left you last. Hey, Mr. Block, can I go to the bathroom? Two minutes. <laughs> Introducing Lynx from Atari, the color video game you can get away with. Well, sometimes. There was so much going on here, I didn't even get a chance to introduce you. Uh, right now, it's time for the final accounting, and let me take a look. Mr. Graham, you did eight ninety-five. Miss Clemente, sixty-six thirty-six. Mr. Maxi, twenty-nine fifty. Miss Smith with nine thousand dollars. You are the big winner and champion, and you'll be back with us next week. Thank you, Mr. Graham, Miss Clemente, Miss Maxi, the whole bunch. For a look at our brand new showcase. Join us again next week. And the Price is Right will be brought to you by Lever Brothers. We'll see you then or tomorrow morning on the daytime Price is Right. Thank you ever so much. Goodbye, everybody, and so long. Goodbye to you, Mr. Smith. The Price is Right has been brought to you by Dove, the amazing new bath and beauty bar that brings your skin while you wash. And by New Blue Liquid Whisk, the liquid way to your cleanest wash. Lever Brothers unconditionally guarantee satisfaction or your money back. Transportation for tonight's guest was arranged by American Airlines, American choice of experienced travelers everywhere, and famous for the Mercury, luxury leader in the world of flight, down by Hannah Troy. The Price is Right is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the NBC television network. This is Don Pardo speaking. This is Milton Berle. Stay tuned when my guests will be the Ames Brothers, Johnny Paleo and his harmonica gang, and the Sensational Zonies, the next in color over most of these NBC stations. looking for the handgun you know with, with help from the the dog we uh we still couldn't find the handgun it, it's it's kind of unfortunate he ran through some backyards that were uh very densely you know populated with bushes and weeds and a lot of trees so it, it, it's jim he just said the suspect's in the attic one of the people in the house just come on out man we got the place around it come on out man we got you Come on out, man. You coming out? Also, whether or not when I run, I swing this arm out, I'm wasting a lot of motion. Should I concentrate in my, di in my training? Pushing it forward. Have, pe have people told you that you should? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they've told me that it swings out, and I don't know how much it would affect in a marathon. Mm -hmm. The visual information had to be fed to a computer. Now, this machine enables us to... Let me stop the frame for a moment, and... It enables us to take the coordinates of points on the body, and when I press that button and you see the light go out, that tells us that the computer has taken that piece of information on the location of, your, of the landmarks that we put on your body, and from that starting point, we can begin to do some of the analyses that we'll be talking about today. Bill Rogers' running style became a series of points in Peter Cavanaugh's computer. Since so few runners have been studied, there are no standards set for an ideal style. So they concentrated on specific concerns, like the question of Bill Rogers' arm. What we're going to do now is show you in 
reconstructed motion. The move. Moo. If you're looking for a truly incredible computer, just call 1 800 Gateway and ask about the Gateway 700 XL. Loaded with a blazing fast Intel Pentium 4 processor, both a CD and a DVD burner, an 18 inch flat panel monitor, and more, it's the most advanced computer Gateway's ever built. So call 1 800 Gateway for the award winning 700 XL today. That's 1 800 Gateway. Lisa Simmons was looking for an office she never found when she opened the door that would change her life. Lisa had stumbled upon the laboratory of Dr. Newton Parsec, who was perfecting his time-space gamma laser ray. Suddenly, when they come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles. Disguised as a gargoyle, the evil Xanatos swoops into attack. But mighty Goliath breaks free. Lexington fires, and heroic Brooklyn charges into battle on the Ripon Rider Cycle. Get him! Xanatos is stunned, and Goliath flies in to unmask him. Oh, you, Xanatos! When gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles, Goliath, Brooklyn, Lexington, Xanatos. Other figures and vehicles each sold separately. Blocks not included. Nevertheless, as you can see, they're still flying out of the water. Psycho then, Peter Skinner. This is a very small boat, only an 18-foot phantom. So they really have to be very careful against these very rough seas. And back to Ramsgate, the boats come. Once again, a bit of a shambolic refueling going on there. It's taken a long time. In fact, the Class 3D boats didn't start off from Ramsgate until a quarter to six. Leading overall was Roman Sabre Class 2. Both the other Class 2 boats were really out of the reckoning. Gusset, who had engine problems, as did Robert Cook with Aquaglide. But we're now going to take a look at the leading cruiser class and also both some Class 3C and Class 4. Number 28, Have No Fear, which is another 18-foot Phantom going extremely well here. Powered by the Mercury 175 horsepower engine. Have no fear, literally having no fear, flying out of the water. Spectacular stuff from this boat. Many of the Class 3D boats, the larger category, didn't complete the Ramsgate, Calais Ramsgate leg, so they're going to be out of the reckoning for positions. Splashdown is a cruiser class, they only had to go from London to Ramsgate and back again. P4 also going very well. Now we have a little class 4E, that is Wheels of London. That's only a 16-foot Martian. Have no fear, literally coming straight past Wheels of London. As does Splashdown, with a little class 4 boat going extremely well in considerably rough conditions for that size, a little 16-foot boat. Deep Fresh, number 27, being driven by Lady Aaron. This is a 23-foot Hunton. A comparatively easy ride for the cruiser class. You're watching Cartoon Network On Demand. Cartoon Network On Demand will return. Once upon a time in the land of Ooh. No! Ah! Yeah! Time. All new episodes, Monday nights at 8, 7 central, only on Cartoon Network. Woo! You want Terminator on Mega Drive? Well, that's all those colors. It's all stereo.
tier. Let Boardwalk USA, home of phaser combat and virtual reality, preserve your home insanity. We're open from 9 a.m. to midnight every day, including Christmas. And the all-day pass is only $10. That's right, up to 15 hours of fun for only $10. That's cheaper than a house sitter. And don't miss our Christmas break special. Get two virtual reality or phaser combat passes for only $5 when you purchase any all-day pass. Don't waste your money on movies. Play more and pay less at Boardwalk USA. Open 9 a.m. to midnight every day. In Aurora and Havana and Yale, liquid next to Casa Bonita and coming soon a little tip. There's a lady who's had more number one hits than any other female artist. The lady is Diana Ross. Teledisc presents Diana Ross, the Supreme Lady. The only collection containing her top hits with the Supremes, Lionel Richie, The Temptations, The Four Tops, and On Her Own. All 18 of her number one hits, 36 hits in all. The Supreme Lady, three records or two long play cassettes, plus a special photo scrapbook, only $17.95 plus shipping, only from Teledisc and not in any store. Now on two CDs, just $22.95 plus shipping. Call toll-free 1-800-972-3200 to order The Supreme Lady for only $17.95 for records or cassettes or $22.95 for CDs plus $4 shipping. Call 1-800-972-3200. River wheels are rolling, no matter what the load. The name that's known is Firestone. Vacation, wherever crops are grown, the name that's known is Firestone, where the rubber meets the road. Charms blow pop, take one, action. Fruit flavored candy on the outside, bubblegum on the inside. Fabulous, that's a blow pop. That's a blow pop. Charms. Now flavors, cherry, Great. flew them came to be known as aces, a new breed, masters of an evolving technology which carried them into a freedom and glory unknown to the men in the mud and the trenches far below. Men like Edward Mannock, the greatest British ace who shot down 73 German planes. A savage fighter who disliked publicity, Mannock took satisfaction in riddling a downed foe until plane and pilot were obliterated. Billy Bishop, the Canadian who fought with the British. Second only to Manock in victories, he would often spend most of the daylight hours in the air. In one 25-day period, he shot down 12 German planes. Albert Ball, who before dying at the age of 20, had shot down 44 planes. Solitary and intense, his spare time was spent locked away studying tactics while the other pilots were celebrating. And George Guinemer, the French pilot whose daring and recklessness in the air was matched by his cool arrogance on the ground. After having shot down 54 planes, he left on a flight from which no trace of either him or his plane was ever found. He was 22 years old. Of the Americans, Captain Eddie Rickenbacker was the highest scoring. A combination of daredevil and businessman, he had already set a world speed record for automobiles. 134 miles an hour, faster than the best of the fighter planes he was to fly in the war. And Raoul Louberry, the French-born American pilot who was driven by a compulsive need for adventure. After drifting around the world, Louberry became a superb combat pilot. He died jumping from his flaming plane shortly before it plunged to earth. And Frank Luke, the flamboyant pilot from Arizona who spurned discipline and became a cowboy of the skies. He, too, died pursuing his greatest passion, turning the huge German balloons into airborne infernos. For all the aces, death was the only measuring stick. Manfred von Richthofen, two decades before he was to become the most deadly fighter of the skies. Mountain man survival skills. 
the basics. A true mountain man must have a keen sense of direction, a certain physical dexterity, and a talent for surviving the most unforgiving climates. Of course, nothing is more key to a mountain man's survival than plenty of smooth bush beer and easy drinking bush life. So, head for the mountains and learn how the mountain man survives even the most grueling conditions. Her diamonds from K Jewelers. Diamonds hand selected for extraordinary color and clarity. Choose from K's diamond pendant selection starting from $99.95. With diamonds from K Jewelers, you will make her very happy. For my bride. I love smoked sausage. Your mother told me that. That's not Eckridge. What? I like Eckridge smoked sausage. Your mother didn't tell me that. Eckridge Smoked Sausage. Only selected cuts of meat and our special blend of seasonings. You can taste the difference. Mm, that's Eckridge. Delicious. <gasps> now what? Zucchini huh? makes me sneeze. <laughs> I wish your mother had told me that. Eckridge Smoked Sausage. Taste the difference. Well, Ebert, in weeks to come, we're going to be reviewing some of this year's Oscar nominees, especially in the very interesting foreign language film category. Now let's take another look at the movies we reviewed this week. We had a split decision on the getaway with Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger wading through nonstop mayhem. It reminded me of a brainless arcade game, but Gene liked the action and the movie's rousing conclusion. Two thumbs down for Blank Check, the awkward and unconvincing comedy about a young boy who gets a million dollars and spends it all in the most boring ways. And two more thumbs down for My Girl 2, the slow-moving story of a teenage girl's search for memories of her dead mother, although we admired Anna Klumski's performance. And the actual Oscars will be given out March 21st. That's it for this week. Next week we'll be back with reviews of Blue Chip starring Nick Nolte and Shaquille O'Neal in the story of a basketball coach striving to get his career and team back on track. And Reality Bites, a romantic comedy where Winona Ryder has to choose between Ethan Hawke and Ben Stiller. That's next week and until then, the balcony is closed. It's America's favorite jelly bean jelly belly, now in new 20 and 40 flavor gift boxes. The original gourmet jelly bean jelly belly. St. Ives Swiss Formula Peaches and Cream Facial Beauty Wash for a peaches and cream complexion at St. Ives Swiss Formula, naturally. If you'd like to save up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free lens express catalog and find out how you can start saving right away. Bigfoot Pizza from Pizza Hut, only $10.99 for the largest single pizza you can have delivered. Bigfoot Pizza, a legendary value. Do you know where your shadow is? Well, if you shave with Chic Quattro, it's not here. See, Chic Quattro has four blades and two conditioning strips, so your 5 o'clock shadow shows up late. Chic Quattro, the power of four. Itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, and sneezing can make our very short summer even shorter. You look awful, and you feel even worse. Thank goodness my doctor told me about his mom. One tablet once a day, and I get relief from my allergy symptoms. Hisminol is effective without drowsiness. And with our short summer, the sooner you get Hisminol working for you, the sooner you can put summer back in your life. He will be going to the Gilliam U Center uh, because he had two warrants, one out of Commerce City, one out of Denver. It, all we want to do is talk to him at this point. No guns uh, to arrest him from the start. It was just... No. You know, because mother said that, you know, that the supposed victim of the felony menacing was gone. Her boyfriend, he was already gone. Um, so we just wanted to talk to the kid. And uh, he started fighting right right from the beginning. Very hostile toward us. Had no reason to be. Um, fought with us a little bit. Tried to run in handcuffs. and Almost got away. <laughs> Almost, but he didn't. To America to escape his past. You will always be a ninja. No, his wife. His children. His home and his honor must be defended. If you just want protection, why don't you go hire yourself a private detective? No ordinary man could do it alone. But this is no ordinary man. Attack 
your hunger with a new hot, juicy stack attack from Wendy's. Made with two fresh, never frozen beef patties stacked with cheese. There's no better double cheeseburger out there for only 99 cents. You gotta taste this. Only at Wendy's. That's right. Surprising gifts at surprising prices. That's Home Goods Happy. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. We're gonna chase all your cares away. Come to Home Goods, come on, get happy. Find gifts that last for less today. movie and you can see now as the helicopter comes across it reflects in the one building and then of course cast a shadow on the other one now you notice also up here you mentioned the little guy the little guy's actually he's moving on, focus on the little clouds guy. are moving the choppers little. moving and you've taken this dead flat scene and turned it into real life yeah and that's I mean, exactly the of type of effect you've seen in the layering you would see in something like titanic or right. again where they're adding these multiple things Brad, how, how long would it take? I mean, how complicated is it for somebody to do something like that? I mean, you're an expert and it's sort of pre-done here, but, but can I do something like that? Sure, sure. There's some uh, elements like this you could do probably in a couple days. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, for someone who's just getting started, they might want to start off. We have another program called Inspire 3D. Okay, what's that? It's a very similar application to Lightwave 3D, although it's targeted more at multimedia, web page, and hobbyists. All right, and that's what, a couple of hundred bucks range? It's about $350. And this can... is like a 2000 bucks for exactly. Lightwave 3D? Exactly, but there is an upgrade path, so if you want to move on, you right. can do that. But the nice thing is, you can get started. It's got a great tutorial CD, and it takes you through all the processes, not just of Inspire 3D, but of regular 3D graphics. So from the complete neophyte, they can get started and within a few hours be making incredible graphics. So I can actually take something like this and do those sort of, as you said, I mean, this is Titanic, this is the, the, the M&M's commercial, all created real. Now, do I need a very, you're using a, a kayak workstation, kind of expensive boxer, do you need that? You don't actually need that. We could run on uh, Intel machines. You could. Power Mac machines. Uh -huh. um, we this actually, might take a little longer. Yeah, you can use, well, the G3 laptops actually will uh -huh. render faster than a lot of the <laughs> high-end workstations. So it's amazing what desktop computers can do. Amazing stuff, lightweight 3D. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, All right, that's our look at 3D computer graphics. I'll be back in just a minute with my pick of the week. You think I'm going to dump? I serve up my fall away jumper. You think I'm going to dunk? You think too much. You see, this is my planet. How are your egg cracking skills? Terrible. Terrible? I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. That was oh, perfect. Yes. That's better than mine. Well, yes. Well, yes. So, blue gloves for Lydia okay. with your Fancy. outfit. Fancy. I've got onions here. Here's a good trick. Go like this. <laughs> Scrunch the meat. Scrunch the yeah. meat. Bread crumbs? Okay. How do you do it so fast? Oh, I went to camp. Oh, meatball making camp? Yep. Giant tree. You want some meatballs? That's what my status is called. Perfect, huh? Yeah. But you have to yell it like that. So, so now all. what's yours gonna be called? Better than John's. <laughs> People will come because it, it is true. He's a little upset by that, but oh, that's wow. okay. I'm coming back. I'm okay, guys. I okay, just needed a moment. So now we are going to sear our meatballs. This is just canola oil. Good high cooking temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Meat tramps. Where did this recipe come from? It came from my grandmother. Amazing. So we're going to take our beef broth now. We're going to pour it into our pan to deglaze it. Pour this into here. Mm -hmm. 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Mashed potato time. We're gonna rice them, just so it gives it a nice fluffy texture. Close this and squish it down. Ah, squeeze. You could do it. In here is the warm butter and milk mixture. Okay. Salt. Pepper. Magical fluffiness. Aww. Bring it over. Wash this over to you. Wash this. Two for me. Two for me? No. Well, let's I thought you guys were learning to share. We're sharing, we're gonna share. Okay. Five meatballs on here. So the way that we do our gravy is we start off first with some butter in a pan. We add in equal parts of flour, the juices from our meatballs, Norwegian goat cheese, lingonberry jam, put some parsley in there. <laughs> Makes it healthy. There you go. It does. Meatballs. Got my own <gasps> special cutlery. I had it engraved that I dined with John Catucci. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it worth the wait? Mm. So delicious. Oh, they're amazing. They're savory and they're kind of sweet because of the lingonberry jam and the nutmeg. Oh, with the creamy mashed potatoes. It's amazing. Harmony. <laughs> Lydia, I usually don't take advice from kids, but I'm so glad I listened to you and I came here to eat these meatballs. You gotta eat here. 
Saturday dinette. This is one of your favorite places, is it? Yeah. Tell me why. Smells good. Yeah. And Aunt Suzanne works here. They auctioned off my pine your daddy bought it. That's when I first met him. Mm, I love that story, Mama. And I love your cooking, honey. Well, Chris goes what makes it taste so special. Mmm, that pie looks real tempting. Where do you try it? The filling is rich and chocolatey, but nothing makes my crust flakier than Crisco. Mmm, that just melts in my mouth. And Crisco has no cholesterol. Now, honey, what will you bid for seconds? Is that enough? Wow. Crisco, do you proud every time? to our north and join in with our friend and morning colleague, Al Roker. All right, and good morning. Thanks, guys, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching. We're here at 77th Street in Central Park West at the beginning of this massive procession. We can all feel this surge behind us. 10,000 participants taking part in today's parade. They're just brimming with excitement, waiting for their marching orders. Well, guess what? The wait is order was over because here with the orders is the main man of the Macy's March. Ladies and gentlemen, parade executive producer, Robin Hall. Thanks, Al. Yeah. I'm happy to say that Chris Myers is here again with us. Hey, hey Chris. Along with 5,000 other Macy's volunteers who are right behind us who help us stage this glorious procession every year. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to very special guests. All of these fabulous looking kids behind us have a uh, parent serving in Iraq or Afghanistan today. And so we've invited them to be with our Macy's family and to represent the thousands of kids all over America whose moms and dads are serving in the military. Well, that's great. And we know you NBC's telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is actually going to be rebroadcast to all of our troops overseas who are so valiant in serving there. That means, that means your folks are watching, so let's make them proud. Are you guys ready for the countdown? Yeah! yeah. Right. Here we go! Five, four, three, two, one! Live from New York City, NBC presents Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. With your hosts from the Today Show, Matt Lauer, Meredith Vieira, and Al Roker. Degree, are you desensitizing people? Is it harmful? Is it not harmful? How harmful is it? There's different degrees because you can have a game like 007 where you're shooting spies and you're on a mission. But then you can have a game like Grand Theft Auto where you're just living off the street and beating up random people, shooting cops, you know, killing prostitutes. Being executed in 1954 is the work of one of America's most distinguished artists. He is one of these three men. What is your name, please? My name is Larry Rivers. My name is Larry Rivers. My name is Larry Rivers. Only one of these men is the real Larry Rivers. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. At one of the best television shows of all time, Hill Street Blues. Tune into The Hill and decide for yourself. Combat at 9 and Hill Street Blues at 10, only on 56 KDOC. They're the largest cargo carriers on Earth. Fully loaded, ocean-going vessels can weigh more than 500,000 tons. Their outstanding carrying capacity was recognized by the Bible's Book of Genesis. The story of Noah's Ark celebrates one of history's greatest ships. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Noah was instructed to build a massive wooden ship and collect a pair of every animal species on Earth. When God unleashed the biblical flood that covered the Earth, the ark and its inhabitants survived and repopulated the world. But is it just a captivating morality tale? In recent decades, underwater archaeology conducted in the Black Sea has tried to give support to the flood story. In the 1998 book, Noah's Flood, Scientists William Ryan and Walter Pittman theorized that some 7,000 years ago, 
melting glaciers caused a massive influx of salt water from the Mediterranean into the Black Sea, then a freshwater lake. Core samples from the shoreline gave evidence for a sudden shift from freshwater to saltwater animal life. But this is only one of several flood scenarios. I'm not convinced that the flooding of the Black Sea was the event that's recorded in the Bible as being Noah's flood. One of the things that we know as anthropologists is that most cultures in the world actually do have a flood myth where the world is destroyed by water, where the world is covered in water. From Noah's Ark and the even older Babylonian epic flood of Gilgamesh, to the Greek, Roman, and Irish legends, the flood belief is long on popularity, but short on proof. The same holds true for the Ark. Despite numerous unfounded Ark sightings over the years, understanding how the legendary vessel may have been constructed can only come from known ancient ships. The Whopper has 39 grams of fat. To counteract the effects of a fat-filled lunch, choose the burger joint farthest from you and run there. Or go to Subway, where you can get a fresh sandwich under six grams of fat. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. The combination of speed and power and money is an irresistible one for the ladies. And like their counterparts in Grand Prix driving, the powerboat men find themselves surrounded by attractive admirers. But at this time, most of the drivers can think only of tomorrow's race. For some, it will mean joy, for most, defeat. And for the men in this boat, the Italian ERAF, it will mean anger and disillusion. But all that is still to come. Still to come also is the 255-mile journey from Cowes via South Sea back towards Cowes, then on downwards towards Hurst Point, Anvil Point, Portland Bill, Torquay, and then back again to Cowes for the finish. Only a matter of seconds now before the start of this great race. And what an impressive rolling start it's going to be. 45 boats have made it uh, to the start of this race. And what a really dramatic scene all around us. A great armada of boats here come to see the start of this race. Helicopters in the sky, wind three to four, light breeze. And that really is the perfect compromise between the dead flat calm the uh, small boats wanted and the rough seas the big boats wanted. They're heading that start line now. And away they go now at the start of this 1973 International Offshore Powerboat Race. And what a race we've got in prospect. As they head towards South Sea, 333, the Italian Nicopau 10 is going well. So is John Paul Davy in Blitz. And right there among the leaders, 717, you know what, driven by its designer, Don Shedd, and with him, the boat's owners, Harry Hyams and Ronnie Hall. And this 37-footer, built by Enfield Marine on the Isle of Wight, is going to take some stopping. The Solent is now a churning mass of water and boats. It's at this stage of the race that accidents are most likely to happen. But it's not only in the sea that things are busy. The sky is full of helicopters and planes. Balestrieri in Black Tornado is out already with a broken crankshaft. And then the leader, another Italian boat, ERAF, is heading for trouble. The navigator is English. ...belong to Warner. Well, and they talked, too, at the end of last season about, you know, their priorities. At, right at the top of that, strengthening run defense, strengthening their own running game. So a lot of what they wanted to do centered around the run, not only on defense, but also on offense. 7 all the score. Seven minutes left, first quarter. First down, just outside the 25. Randall Morris, who has replaced... Oh, what a hit on Morris! As he goes in for Warner, and Dennis Smith, number 49, rattles his cage. Oh, my. Coaches were concerned about Dennis Smith coming into this game. He has a cast on his left hand broke the ring finger on his left hand is playing with a cast on it they said you know it's not easy to come up and hit when you got a cast on that hand well Dennis Smith hits with the shoulder and the helmet not with the hand but watch Randall Morris just be rejected Randall calls himself Randall too hard to handle not on that play he gained four hard yards but held on to the football 
Craig over the middle. There'll be a flag as Largent, the intended receiver, and Mike Harton was riding him down. Largent, by the way, for those of you who have joined us late and wondering whether his streak is alive, yes, he has caught a pass for 11 yards. It's now 140 straight games. No, they're calling it against Largent, apparently. I believe they're going to call it offensive interference, and I believe it will go against Largent. Little contact with Mike Harden as he headed downfield. Harden, who is the defensive captain, will also be able to decide whether he wants the penalty or not, and you better believe he'll take it. Still trying to decide as Harden looks to the sidelines and the coaching staff. Oh, clue. Number 86 on the offense. Oh, so it's That's not large. It's third down. Mike Tice, the tight end downfield. There's Tice. <laughs> also in April, don't miss Tech TV's great gadget giveaway. Every day, all month long, a new chance to win flat panel monitors, PDAs, digital cameras, and more. It's all part of Tech TV's 2002 Technology Festival, coming this April, only on Tech TV. Game Boy の世界とスーパーファミコンの世界が今結ばれる。スーパーゲームボーイ。すべてのゲームボーイソフトがスーパーファミコンでプレイできる。テレビの大画面で好きな色がいろいろ付けられる。ゲームボーイソフトとスーパーファミコンの夢の架け橋スーパーゲームボーイ新しいドンキーコングとテトリスフラッシュも同時に新発売シアトルクラブレコード54 yards originally set by next Dallas Cowboy エフレン・ホレラ And Johnson is ready to kick off. Just nine seconds left on the clock. They go with the onside kick. A little squibber. Cowboys bounce it around a while and finally manage to maintain control at the 35. Coming up at halftime, Brent Musburger and Irv Cross. Lots of scores and highlights and some look at the nasty weather in the East today at some of the NFL games, which has kept the scoring down. It always gets miserable back there about to play a good football game. Last play of the first half. As Danny White simply kneeling down to run out the clock. So it has been pretty much all Dallas so far here in the first half but the Seahawks do get a little life on the strength of that 54 yard field goal by Norm Johnson. Cowboys with two touchdowns by Tony Dorsett. Dick Vermeil and Frank Lieber and we'll be back in Seattle. It only happens once a year. The spirit, the spell, the haunting of Halloween 1987. The treat is all day, all night horror. The trick is to get out alive. From the true masters of scaremonies to classic tales of terror, you're invited to celebrate Halloween 1987. Saturday on USA. I didn't talk to her. What's going to happen? More than likely, we'll be turning her over to you here in a little bit, okay? Hace la fiesta y ya está a la venta el popurrí que animará sus fiestas. 40 continuado para fiestas. Este fabuloso álbum contiene 40 de las canciones más divertidas de todos los tiempos, unidas en una edición especial para que no se detenga la alegría. 40 continuados para fiestas. Por cada compra haremos una donación a la Cruz Roja. Lleve la alegría a su hogar estas fiestas con 40 continuados para fiestas. Cómprelo ya en LP, cassette o CD. Los Angeles Hurricane 4 is reported to do 175 on the straight runs. When a hydroplane like Miss Great Lakes is up to speed, she's almost out of the water. Only the pontoon-like projections on either side of the bow and her propeller and rudder are actually immersed. Two 12-cylinder Allisons geared to a single shaft power the slim 36-foot Miss Pepsi and have driven her 10,500 pounds to a new qualifying record of over 103 miles per hour. 
Gold Cup chairman Jerry Bryant and referee Mel Crooks give Hurricane owner Moreland Weissel a few final words. The best drivers in the world are here today. Joe Taggart's got great hopes for Miss Great Lakes. And Wild Bill Cantrell hopes to repeat his 1949 Gold Cup triumph. Chuck Thompson will drive Miss Pepsi hard, though Fagel, Sears, and Dollar hope the two slow mos can push her to the breaking point. That smile of Mrs. Dollar will go to tears and back again many times. It's almost race time now. Even the press, used to the classics of every sport, tenses expectantly. Not much to say now, not much to do. A few last minute precautions and it's into the boats. A final word to the pit crews and they're off for the warm ups and the starting line. No time to worry now if such crust day old engine is broken in. Miss Great Lakes, slow-mo four, defending champ the slow-mo five, and the roaring hurricane. Clearly visible a mile and a half away, the 10-foot pie face of the starting clock starts the last 60 seconds. Under the bridge, around the north turn buoys, the flying hydros roar toward the starting line. This is the night. You can win the race at the start or lose it if you're a second early and have to run an extra lap. 12 seconds, it's going to be tight. 120 miles an hour, it's easy to guess wrong. The race is on. Slow Mo 5 is over the line, a nose ahead of Miss Pepsi and Miss Great Lakes. The pre-run dope that Lou Fagel and the five would do just that is panning out. Pepsi and the five are out to run each other off the water. And the first five laps find each of them averaging over 100 miles an hour. The average person will probably eat something or drink something that is acidic on a daily basis. Those acids may over time wear the enamel. A lot of patients will not realize what's happening to the enamel. Once it's gone, it's gone away for good. Highway 20, thank you, sir. We're going to be taking everything into uh, West Texas. Can you just have a set of numbers, please? We got narcotics. What is this for, sir? Crack cocaine. In the glove compartment. We're still searching. There's about approximately 30, uh, maybe 20 vials of crack, of crack cocaine there. All right, so far we have an uh, automatic weapon loaded. Have about 20 or 25 vials of crack cocaine. There's a possibility that the car might be stolen. There's no record of it yet, but uh, it might have just been stolen. The ignition's punched tampered with. So we have to go inside now and process the paper on the weapon and possibly try to contact the owner to see if he knows where his vehicle is. Guess which cereal will now carry the American Heart Association symbol? The answer shouldn't surprise you. It's Cheerios. A diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, including Cheerios, may help reduce the risk of heart disease. This Cheerios, made from whole grain oats, is also a good source of fiber. And those delicious O's are low in fat and saturated fat with no cholesterol. No wonder Cheerios carries the American Heart Association symbol. Now that basic model has been challenged. It all started with a new dinosaur being studied at Yale University by Professor John Ostrom. We have right over here one that uh, I discovered myself, which I think is one of the most interesting dinosaurs that's ever been found. In fact, I th also think it's one of the most uh, important dinosaurs ever found. Uh, let me show you some very interesting things about this fellow. First of all, it's a carnivorous dinosaur, but not a big one like Tyrannosaurus. Uh, it's just a little fellow, probably about four or five feet high, uh, maybe about eight or nine feet in length. Weighed maybe about 175 pounds, about uh, your weight or mine. Perhaps this will show you how big Deinonychus was. This is the thigh bone, or femur, and you see it's just about the same size as mine. One of the curious things about him is... <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Excited! I love it! This is going to be big. Yeah! But heads up, it's going to go fast. Available on Blu-ray and DVD now.
Ready, Pete? Lifesavers candy. Isn't life delicious? Uh, what a day, huh? Well, I'm going to go out and do my best. Uh, they obviously have a good boat today, and uh, it's a real privilege to get a chance to go out there and uh, show my stuff. Have you ever been in this boat before? No, no. Hopefully it's called Lucky for a reason. So what's Fred tell you? Yeah, I haven't even talked to Fred. Fred just knows the job. You just go out and get the job done, and that's what we're going to do. All right, Mitch Evans is in the uh, team, Steve. They come around the corner. The pace boat on the outside he is, of course, the first choice. And this time, Nate Brown's going to bring him real strong to the line. Let's see if the green goes up. There it is. Sure Nate go. Brown takes him to the line. But the lagging back, interestingly enough, is the close call as well as the DeWalt tools. Nate Brown got an outstanding start, but so, so did Mark Evans. Mark Evans had a heck of a start. Let's see how I shake off coming off the corner. Mark Evans had an incredibly good start at coming off the corner. Somebody's riding his rooster tail, but he pops out up front. This is five times around, remember, not three. So this has got to include some endurance as well as some speed. Mark Evans, your leader, on the inside, close call in lane one is drawing in on him right now in second place. Freddie Leland watches nervously. His boat's been upside down one time already today. But Mark Evans unbelievably bolts out into the lead. And at the end of lap number one, it will be the once disabled Pico American dream out front. And a strong lead has him. Oh, Mark's getting loose. The boat really rises in the air. Got a lot of air underneath it, but he still maintains his lead. Close call second. Third, it's Team Steel. Fourth, it's the first choice. Fifth across the line. Pit stop. DeWalt Tools for some reason lagging back in sixth. I think he took a lot of water in the first turn. He just not, did not get through there clean. Other did Steve David, and that's why they're lagging behind right now. And now Mark Evans has begun to really stretch it out. He's being careful, thinking about the way his boat leaned up so high into the air just a moment ago. But he's driving beautifully down into turn number two now on the second of five times around. The battle is back in the pack for second place, and we have no idea who that's going to be because there's real serious racing going on in the second place battle right now. It's close call in second position, but getting seriously challenged from the outside by the close call team boat, which is, of course, the or rather by the Team Steel, the other of the Pico team boats. Two times around now, and uh, Mark Evans continues to lead. I'll tell you, Steve David is, is scooting up the inside here. 138.116 on lap two, 140.411 on lap one to keep up with the speeds. It's still... in the world. It was first inhabited 50,000 years ago. It's known as the lucky country. And yes, you've guessed it, it's Australia. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world. The same size as mainland USA and half as large again as Western Europe. Only 17 million people live on this vast continent, mostly in the southeast corner, which is where I'm headed. My journey begins in Tanworth. From there, I head to the coast, then south through Victoria, finishing in Tasmania. Critics love the new Christmas classic. Two thumbs up. Surprise! Terrific. The perfect Christmas gift for the whole family. Prancer, now playing at theaters everywhere. Rated G. We'll be right back after this briefest message. so much to the American farmer. He tills and toils his crops, fighting the forces of nature and economics to be able to bring a plate of food to your table so that your son can say, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> so while you get him to eat his vegetables, here are some clips from down on the farm. Brian, 
How do you like milk in the go? You heard him, Brian. Answer him. <laughs> this little calf on the left misses his mom because it's lunchtime. <laughs> Negotiations between Juan Valdez and his donkey reach an impasse. Right here, the actual voice of Smokey the Bear putting out a forest fire using his bear paws. And now, meeting some of his fans in person, I give you Smokey the Bear. Well, Smokey just finished showing the kids how to prevent forest fires and then accidentally shows them something else. Brings a new meaning to the words, Smokey the Bear. Okay, everybody, we're going to the beach, so get some protection. <laughs> it's just unbelievable what you can get nice people to do on TV, isn't it? Sometimes all you have to do is set up your camera and just leave it running. Then you can capture the sky, the waves, the dog. is complete, but you must give it away in the air, Dextron sweepstakes. Yeah, what a... Dexter, say goodbye to the TV, VCR, game station with DVD, laptop, computer, walkie-talkie, stereo system, and your supply of Airheads candy. Candy! To find out how you could win the Air Dextron C Airheads store displays, or go to CartoonNetwork.com. <laughs> Hurry, they're out of control. Swing in for some holiday cheer at Westfield Shopping Town's Eagle Rock, Fox Hills, Palm Desert, Santa Anita, Topanga, and West Covina. You'll dig shopping with our super friendly service from the cool cats in red. Check out Westfield's Red Hot List, featuring the hottest gifts of the season, and join us for the interactive Legoland California Holiday Tour. Across America, the presidential campaign was the great fall entertainment. Never before had candidates campaigned so hard, so far, or spent so much money. William Jennings Bryan, just 40 years old, was a firebrand, crisscrossing the country, speaking six, eight, even 12 times a day. But the Republicans had their own young powerhouse, the 41-year-old vice presidential nominee. I am as strong as a bull moose, Theodore Roosevelt told reporters, and no one doubted him. He becomes the sensation of the 1900 campaign. He can match William Jennings Bryan as a campaigner. Bryan could campaign 18 hours a day, so could Theodore Roosevelt. Bryan could draw big crowds, Theodore Roosevelt could draw bigger crowds. Bryan could excite crowds by what he said, Theodore Roosevelt could excite crowds by who he was. By September, the Republicans appeared to be taking the lead. With the economy strong, Bryan was having a hard time drumming up enthusiasm for his anti-imperialist campaign. He can't get any fire going. He can't arouse the public. He's campaigning out in Kansas, and he's going on about how terrible it is and what a danger it is to the country that we uh, have this empire and it's going to drag us down. Supposedly, one farmer looked at another one and said, price of hogs is 60 cents a pound. Guess we can stand it. The election just two months away, Bryan decided to change course. He began to attack McKinley for his alliance with big business, blasting the president for his support of the trusts, the giant corporations 
that were swallowing up many of America's small businesses. It's color that looks younger, more alive. It's the age of Revitalique, the breakthrough age-defying hair color system. Revitalique combines sensational color with a retinol color complex, infusing dull hair with new life, new vibrancy, new shine. And Revitalique goes beyond other hair colors with a daily protectant to strengthen and revitalize between colorings. Revitalique age-defying color, so advanced it could only come from Clairol. G4, the next level of network television. I'm gay! G4 is the only network dedicated to the world of interactive entertainment. Let's bring out the heavy artillery. With 13 original series and ongoing specials covering every facet of games. Bagel gets it going. Soupy and sausage, melted cheese, and a fresh egg. It's a good time for the great day. Hutton and Kelly McGillis there, they find out that in heaven, they can read each other's minds. Annie. Hello, Mike. What's on your mind? You. Really? That's nice. Yeah, I was trying to think of an idea, but I kept thinking about you. McGillis becomes Hutton's heavenly tour guy, but even as she shows him things, there's a sadness in the background because she is a new spirit and has to leave soon to spend her allotted time on Earth where, of course, she has no memory of what went on in heaven and leads a completely mundane lifestyle and meets a completely ordinary guy. Like to go to dinner? Um, no, thank you. But it was, it was nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice meeting you, too, under rather strange circumstances. How about lunch? Is your husband? That was tacky of me, wasn't it? And the gimmick in the movie... Sears has just the right gift for everyone this Christmas. Gifts that will make everyone happy, like tabletop appliances, a wide selection, 10 to 50% off. For the gourmet cook, a seven-speed food processor, half price at just $49.99. And for grandma, pretty things like plush color made towels in a variety of colors, half price at $3.49 each. Wrap up a beautiful Christmas with perfect gifts for the whole family. Rivalries. The thing is, if they want to join the rest of Europe, they're going to have to get well, it under control. you cannot make these problems go away with the wave of a magic wand. Yeah, but they're all... Helium Week in Review will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following episode. Three Cartoon Network original series. An hour and a half of Cartoon Cartoon. Cartoon Cartoon. Tonight at 10.30, only on Cartoon Network. Cartoon Cartoon. The pilot punches the coordinates of the fire into the onboard GPS, much like the GPS units available for most cars. As for lifting off the runway, that's a bit more complicated than pulling out of a driveway. The control panel of a jetliner makes the dashboard of a car look like a kindergarten toy. Takeoff requires thrust, and that's what this throttle control beside the seat is for. Push forward, and each of the DC-10's three engines thunders with 40,000 pounds of thrust more than enough to get this plane airborne. Once at altitude, the pilot controls the plane largely with a yoke, which resembles a steering wheel with more movement. Turn the yoke left or right to move the ailerons on the wings up and down. 
making the jet bank to one side or the other. Pull the yoke back or push it forward, and the elevator on the jet's tail moves up or down, making the jet climb or descend. That covers the flight basics, but the water drop requires more support. That comes from the pilot of a scout aircraft near the fire zone, who offers advice on the best angle of attack. Then it's all up to the DC-10 pilot to make a run as low as 200 feet above the flames and drop the load of water with pinpoint accuracy. We have three separate tanks. So what we're going to call out to the captain is we have three tanks. They're destroying it a little bit, too. People just love you sending it. Before you bet your business on an unproven PC, see how AT&T comes through. Right now, every AT&T PC you buy saves you money on your next PC. The more AT&T PCs you add, the less you'll pay for each one. Now more than ever, it pays to put AT&T confidence on everybody's desk. See your participating dealer or call right now. Bakersfield, California was the original capital of alternative country. Migrants from the Texas and Oklahoma Dust Bowls in the 30s Depression had kept their music alive. Finishes number one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's your man, Irvin Johns. This has eluded you for several years, and I know from being on the circuit with you guys a couple of places, you haven't pulled this truck that much this year. First time this year, right now. Well, you've had it in mothballs, and I'll tell you what, if, just, if you just tuned it up from last year and came out stronger, is this a brand new engine just for this pull? Brand new. Brand new now. You did, what cubic inches are you running in this one? 367. 367. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all you Ford fans, I'll tell you, he's a long time coming, but let's give this man from Louisville, Kentucky, a big round of applause. Congratulations, sir. Good to have a good, nicer guy. Thank you. Now you've seen the Street Tough 4x4 Superstock. Our second event will feature the other renegades of the pulling circuit, the wild, wonderful mini rods. Stay tuned. Another reason America trusts Hoover. When it's time to close your bag, are you going to rely on something wimpy or something hefty? Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty. Wimpy. The cinch sack from Hefty. Fill it up and it closes up. Reopen it and put in more. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy. Want a bag that'll close every time? Then don't send a wimpy bag to do a hefty job. <laughs> the amazing cinch sack from Hefty. You probably noticed all of these commercials about yeast infection treatments. They're all talking about how effective they are. Even so, if you read the labels, you'll notice you still have to use them for seven days. Well, something has changed in a big way. New Femstat 3. Femstat 3 cures recurrent yeast infections with only three days of treatment. Three days. There is no better cure without a prescription. So why put yourself through seven days when you can have this? New Femstat 3, the cure that fits your life. Additional support is provided by Upside Events, presenting the Digital Lifestyle Revolution Conference, where people and technology intersect. Racers, new side-by-side -side double slides from Slip and Slide. Double tunnels of water, two super slick fast tracks. Slip and Slide's new fast track racers. Every teenager dreads. Here, cowgirl. But when they switch places. You're a lot different than I thought you were going to be. You don't say. They run into a few problems. Jimmy, what is going on with you? But that's my future. You just ruined. Oops. Model Behavior, ABC Sunday at 7, 6 Central. An affair, a surprise verdict. Diane Sawyer, Sam Donaldson, 2020, tonight.
places that you go all the time, the dry cleaning relationship is one of the most bizarre because you keep giving each other the same thing back and forth over and over again. He gives it to you, you give it to him, he gives it back to you. It's like it's half his shirt in a way. He has it as much as you do. You want to go shopping with him. What do you think of this shirt? That would look good with a light starch. The only warning label people really respect is dry clean only. You know what I mean? Speed limits, lung cancer, cigarette warnings. Your very life is at stake. You go, ah, the hell with it. But dry clean only. Oh, don't put that in the wash. It's dry clean only. Are you crazy? It's also what enthusiasts live for. Generally, the average person can only sustain 4Gs and for a limited time. The human can usually go up to 5 to 6 without passing out. Medusa makes that limited time feel pretty awesome. The G-forces, they go in those loops with a zero-G roll when it just completely spins. It's breathtaking. Everyone agrees that Medusa is an intense ride. To see how it competes in this category, we've brought in Robert Morrison, an expert in science education. He's developed specialized equipment that will tell us exactly how many Gs Medusa serves up. We have sensors built in that are going to be actually measuring the G-forces. We're also going to be measuring the heart rate using a same sort of uh, mechanism that you'd use at the gym. Robert puts the pack on rider Joe Buzzard. Joe's resting heart rate is anywhere from 60 to 100 beats per minute. What's my heart rate right now? Mellow. That's about to change. At the bottom of the 128-foot drop, Medusa has Joe amped up. His heart is pumping at 191 beats per minute. By the time he is whipped into the second flat spin, the acceleration is taking its toll. He's experiencing a stomach-turning 3.5 Gs. And his heart rate maxes out at 196 beats per minute. Seven inversions later, all good things must come to an end. Now, we have the stats to prove how good it was. The G-Force monitor hit a jaw-dropping 4.2. This is my fifth time today. It's the best roller coaster in the entire park, if not the country. Oh, oh. Ah. Woo. That's some hot stuff. Woo. <clears throat> We're fired up Whoa. with a voracious appetite for heat. <laughs> wow. Today, hot and spicy additives are nearly as indispensable at the dinner table as bread and butter. It's hot, but I like it. It's a good hot. People are moving away from bland food, and the, the heat levels are rising. To meet this demand, two and a half million gallons of Tabasco sauce scorch our palates every year. We were there. I wish we had some Cap'n Crunch. As you wish. Cap'n Crunch? Crunch a time. Welcome to Crunch Creek Rapids. Ah. This inflatable crunch will take us for a month. Yeah. It's the crunchy, munchy part of this balanced breakfast. Almost there. Oh. Recognize me, Darren! The adventure really begins to find the Titan ship. Titan AE, your Kale Tucker. You can control energy. Vehicles light up at your touch. When the last human... Make as little or as much as you want, try stovetop in the canister. I feel great. I feel... Really good. It's breakfast with grape nut cereal. Try it. Try it for a week and see how good you feel all morning. Post grape nut cereal is packed with complex carbohydrates. And the taste? And the taste? It's not fancy, but it's really good. If you don't eat it, it's kind of hard to explain. Grape nut cereal. Just try it. Try it for a week yourself. You got to give it a week yourself to believe it. Now I can't imagine starting the morning without it. Breakfast with grape nuts helps keep you going strong all morning long are amenable to rules. Men or boys, uh, if they were put under these extreme rules that, that women had to work under as operators and didn't like it, they could vote with their feet and leave and go find another job that paid as well or better. Whereas women having fewer options 
were more constrained, more likely to stay in that job and take it and work for less. These women work 12-hour shifts, processing hundreds of calls each hour, working the board with both hands at once. They were expected to follow a strict code of dress and behavior. The company actually kept a deportment card to record transgressions. Very, very strict at the board. No talking, no, don't dare look around. If you moved your head, you'd have five supervisors at your position. Somebody come along and say, what do you want? A high-class service in an operating room is the fruit of good discipline. The selection of girls for operators is the first important step. Great care should be taken to know positively that they are of good character. The training of the voice to become soft, low, melodious, and to carry well is the most difficult lesson an operator has to learn. Operators are to be trained daily on certain phrases and are allowed to use no others in their dealings with subscribers. You could only use certain phrases, number please and thank you. The customer could say anything they wanted to you and you would say thank you. You're a stinker, thank you. <laughs> You'd like to, you said something to yourself, but you would, uh, that's the time they'd be observing on your line. The operator was not allowed to cross her legs. She was forbidden to blow her nose or wipe her brow without permission. Those who married were often discharged. Nevertheless, by 1910, New York Telephone alone had over 6,000 women working its switch. We are the soldiers of liberation! That was this war, and you get to keep your property and everything else you love. Hip T. Lee plays the woman, and her suffering during the war is tragic, of course, but... And Robert Wool as the would-be autobiographer. They go on the road together, Cobb dictating his story while the writer becomes increasingly disillusioned by the reality that's sitting right next to him. I didn't care that they loved and cheered and adored Babe Ruth. I did care that they respected his ball playing. They built Yankee Stadium for him with a 297-foot right field line. My sister Florence could hit the ball 297 feet. Oh, come on, Ty. Aren't you going to give Ruth credit for anything? He ran okay for a fat man. During his stopover in Reno, Cobb knocks Stump unconscious, grabs his girl, yanks her into his room, and prepares to rape her. What's that? It's my hair. Put it back on. That's better. That's Lolita Davidovich as the assault victim. As time goes on, the writer becomes chauffeur and nursemaid, and Cobb's condition worsens prior to the Hall of Fame dinner in his honor. You've got to have your cane. I don't have to have anything. You'll help me out. In case I wobble, something like that. You put a hand here, you over here, you keep me upright, I'm going to be all right. The movie's weak point is the character of the sports writer, Stump, who puts up with incredible abuse and comes back for more. It's as if the story needs the character but doesn't know where to go with him. And since Stump obviously doesn't know what to make of Ty Cobb, in the last analysis, we don't either. I admire the Jones' performance in the movie and some of the craftsmanship, but Cobb never convinced me it knew why it had to be made. Gee, Roger, I think you missed the point of the picture, was that very clearly the Al Stump writer character is, and, and, and Ron Shelton in this whole project, is taking away the myth mm -hmm. uh, that covers the man in all sports. And with current events going on right now, I think that it's really uh, a welcome picture. I think that it's, it's so obvious here that we're seeing myth deconstructed right down the line. I think, well, I think it's sitting enough, right there uh, funny. Stump doesn't deconstruct the myth. The last scene of the movie says he decided to print the lie because he needed, he needed Cobb to be a hero. Right. And the, Wait, the, the, the right. mystery that I have, and I'm, no, no, sure, no, no, you, no. I'm sure you can't answer I was an art student in North Wales. I wanted to study fashion at the time. Ecstasy played a role in the Hacienda and it was prevalent, but it wasn't necessary to the experience at all. I certainly didn't need to go in there and feel like you need to be off your head to enjoy the Hacienda. The energy and the... The way the film blends outlandish physical stunts with 
sexual fantasies and some thoughts about disabilities. In fact, what I like about the movie is it suggests that an important disability is the inability to feel passion. Paperback Romance has passion. It's a light, funny film, and it gets a marginal recommendation from me. I'm kind of on the fence on this one because even though there's a lot of stuff that doesn't really work, I mean, they're trying to muscle in plot that isn't necessary. Nevertheless, the characters are really engaging. Yeah. I like this relationship. I like the scene, for example, where he can't talk and she okay. turns out to be the translator, although she usually yeah. translates into funny. saying what she wants him to say rather than what he's really saying. There are lots of things like that in the movie that really work. If only it had just been about the characters, well, not I think so much a, I th about the slapstick. I think there are enough scenes there. And let me just put it this way. Don't you want to see this Jir Karides in another movie? Sure, yeah. She's got a lot of talent and she's playing smart. You know, sometimes in, in American movies, when they have a character mm -hmm. with disabilities, that also means they lose their brain because they only can play a victim. She's smart. She's dealing with it You're a lot right. better than an American well, screenwriter with a lot, letter deal There's with a lot it. of original stuff in this movie. Yes, it is. Okay. Give it a thumbs up. Okay. Coming up next, a first look at two newly restored movie classics, and one of them features Peter Laurie's creepiest role. Mulan. Yes, brother, that is prime poultry. Just drives the fellas wild. She'll take this town by storm one day, if she could just get in the door. Emily the Chicken, a half hour of starry-eyed celebrity worship, poultry style, on the next Toon Heads, Sunday at 8.30 on Cartoon Network. Could be lucky. When a continental DC-10 ran off the runway in Los Angeles and ruptured its fuel tank, all but two passengers were evacuated safely. The wind direction was in their favor. But it took five minutes, not 90 seconds, because one of the escape slides burst and deflated, and others burned in the fire. This is a test of two inflated slides. They cost about $12,000 each. A metallic heat reflective coating would... Di Discover the new fragrance of America. Lady Stetson, you're free. Country proud, playing in the big leagues. You're all American, with a new fragrance, all your own. Lady Stetson, an exciting blend of contrasts like America itself. All American, Lady Stetson. Every other woman in the world wishes she were you. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. This holiday season, serve the very best at any gathering. Serve delicious chicken tenders from Burger King. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Chicken tenders are all white meat breast fillets, not form bits and pieces of chicken like McNuggets. Plus, they're cooked in 100% vegetable oil. So pick up chicken tenders from Burger King. This holiday, how could you serve anything less than the best? Ain't nothing like the real thing. Turn over, you over and you stop snoring. That's about thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> my is... wife, that's my wife's going to turn it way up. Yeah. That's from Brookstone. All right. Oh, I, I, you know what? I have their original of this. It's just for the airplane. Right. But now they've added. Oh, I can't. Wait a minute. Can you me... hear? It? Here, we got to put this. Can you hear it up there? Can you hear it? Oh, hello, uh, number forty-two. <laughs> anyway, your pizza's well, ready. It's going directly into your ears, but it also has babbling brook, and it has bird sounds and country sounds, and it's about forty dollars. Can, you it, can't hear anything. Right it, now. Let me it, let me uh, put it because it's very here. Turn it, it up all the yep, way, and then uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear? Go a little oh, there more you go. toward the ear. There we go. There we go. What other sounds? That's good. Oh, that's great. Running water? You'll be getting up and going to the bathroom every five minutes. 
And it also comes with a cable so you can play your own like MP3 or your CD player through it. So That's again, it's not for... super good stereo speakers, right. but it's in it's kind of in built in. Yeah. See, I wear my headphone in my um, in my uh, eye, my uh, blindfold on the airplane. And this is great. This, yeah, because great. you have your little, your little sound system with you. I might do the rest of the show like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, my own chance to be on. Okay. Actually, i got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. While well, Leo's gone, I'd like to... Oh, okay. Uh, this is about okay. $40 from Brookstone. Also, there are a lot of albums out. This is from Brookstone. The Science to this. of Sleep. So Every night, music, millions of people around the world watch the screensavers right. and drift off. Well, you know, that is the other thing, is to find... Oh, my God, we've killed the audience. <laughs> Look, they're oh, all asleep. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that... <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Oh. It worked. You know why? You know why? If you read a deadly dull book, <laughs> get out of here. Hey, what's your book? Plug your book. Uh, well, my book is just Mad Magazine. If you go to my website, That's the book. play What the Heck. Hi, Mom. I love my Philips microwave because it cooks so fast. Frankfurt is in two minutes. Hello. Hi, Dad. Chili con carne straight from the freezer in nine. But I love my Philips because it cooks so well. Puddings are light, jams are easy, and vegetables and fish keep all their natural taste and texture. I've been trying out my Philips cookbook. Philips makes sense of cooking with microwave. Philips, simply years ahead. Water skis, but a hell of a pilot and a damn good engineer. He liked to have a good time as much as the rest of us. But when it came to work, there was an intensity you could cut with a knife. Gus was a charger. He was a uh, very uh, macho type. He was really the typical test pilot. But he also had go fever. You know, he wanted to get it going. He wanted to get up there and, and do the job. Gus was our second man in space, and he flew a perfect mission. But that wasn't what people remembered. What they remembered was he'd lost his ship. And somehow, Gus got tagged with making a mistake because he lost the spacecraft, and you were not allowed a mistake. Was I, did I feel that I was in danger at any time during the flight or in the water? Well, I was scared a good portion of the time. I guess this is a pretty good indication. You were what? Scared. <laughs> OK. Test pilots lose planes. It happens. But this wasn't the test pilot business anymore. This was the astronaut business. When it goes right, you get a parade and a trip to the White House. When it goes wrong, you get a reputation. It hurt him very, very much. It's very easy to blame the astronaut, but that wasn't Gus. Gus was much too great an engineer and too serious a pilot. He got tagged as the astronaut who'd lost his ship. Gus hated the reputation, but he didn't run away from it. He stuck it right in everybody's face. On his next flight, he named his spacecraft the unsinkable Molly Brown. Gus was very intense, very, very intense about the problem he had with his Mercury flight, very intense about sort of disappearing out of the system. So he made his Gemini flight a perfect Gemini flight. This time, the ending was perfect, too. After splashdown, he got sea. For the holidays, we always go to Grandma's. They never leave. She's got this special way she prepares food. What's that special thing you do, Grandma? I cook it. The holidays. This season, I'm eating out. Better fried shrimp at Long John Silver's. Plump golden brown, and I don't have to cook. Now that's a holiday treat. Gee, Grandma, you're not serious about not cooking, are you? Long John Silver's. Watch me. Sounds good to me. there, there's hops. Without hops, beer wouldn't taste as good as it does. Take the best part of the hops, the beer's going to taste even better. We found a way now, makes it possible to brew beer straight from the heart of the hops, for a beer with heart that goes down easy. We think so much of this new beer, we're just calling it who we are. Miller, always new possibilities. Gotta reach for what's out there.
Uh, are you Hopalong Cassidy? Mm. No. <laughs> You're not Hopalong Cassidy? You have two questions. Well, well then, uh, are, you, are you a person... Uh, you know, is this your real name, this person you'd like to be, as opposed to a, a, a name like Hopalong Cassidy? Is this your real name? Uh, yeah. Bracken is my real no, name. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get the plug in. <laughs> are you the singing cowboy, Gene Autry? All right. Yes? <laughs> Bill, Maury, write out your checks for $25 a piece. Uh, Gene, I mean, uh, Eddie, uh, thank you very much for being on this. Go on over there and pick up your checks. Thank, thanks for betting Toma Flyers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. answers to everybody's questions. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. It's Friday on CCF. Who made the most lanyards today? Ooh. Can't you fly this thing straight? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> that's that spirit. <laughs> we've got the premiere of an all-new code name, Kids Next Door. Hello, we are the Kids Next Door, and we're here to rescue you. Why? So join Double D. Hello. This Friday at 7 on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, only on Cartoon... They're here! Look, Uncle Toucan, it's the Stunt Chopper! The Lego Track Blaster! Yeah, and there's the Glory Glider and Wave Jumper! Wow! You can clip the postcard from one of these specially marked boxes of Kellogg cereal. Mail it in and get one of these four Lego building sets free. Plus, you'll have the chance to win all this in the Lego Fantasy Sweepstakes. Many will enter, few will win. Wow! No purchase necessary. For a free entry form and rules, write to this address. Entries must be received by December 31st, 1993. Complete rules available on these Kellogg cereals. <laughs> Snacks Hawaiian Kettle Potato Chip Special. They are kettle cooked one batch at a time, like mine. Eagle Snacks Hawaiian Kettle Potato Chips. The Missing Children Network is working because people like you care enough to look for our nation's missing or abducted children. I'm Mary Grady. KOTV and Pizza Hut have joined together to bring you Missing Children Network reports. Watch for them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon and 5 on Eyewitness News. If you recognize a child's face in one of the reports, call the Missing Children Network, KOTV and Pizza Hut, looking to you to look for missing children. American Indian Theater offers in its 10th season to Tulsa, 10 Little Indians, December 3rd through 7th, Little Abner, January 28th through February 1st, Footprints in Blood, March 25th through the 29th, Cake and Sip and Whiskey, May 27th through 31st. For Indiana Jones movie, the computer game experience has to be equally realistic. A consumer looks for believability because if you're going to have fun, you've got to one degree or another suspend disbelief. So the, the story uh, has to be an engaging one and, and to, to some extent uh, a real one, even if the, the theme is, is a fantasy. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Maria Gabriel. Public service message from ABC. Tuesday. I'm going in. Cop killers are begging for trouble. Three cops are down. When they go gunning for TV's only married cops. Hold it! Don't move! Showtime. Magruder and Loud at 9, 8 Central. Tuesday. Next on Channel 7 News tonight, charges of corruption fly across the border as American officials say Mexican authorities have helped drug kingpins escape. The Soviet leader makes a frail appearance in public while his navy rescues a group of whales. The cooling of the El Nino current brings back the salmon to California waters in huge numbers. And the stars of Star Trek talk about stepping into the void of their next movie adventure. I'm Gary Repstock with Cheryl Jennings, Bev Johnson with the weather, Martin White on sports next on Channel 7 News tonight. I'm Alec Baldwin. Join me on Saturday Night Live with my guest, the Beach Boys. No, uh, we're the... Uh... We're the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. So you won't be doing Kokomo? The movie's coming to NBC tomorrow. Hey, where are Dave and 
From comedy to romance. Baby Bell, the little cheese that likes to get out. On to the field, but this is not uh, not well, you, you got to get into position to score the field goal, Charlie, or try the field goal. And but you want to assume you're going to do that. A man that's one for three that you saw, Norm Johnson, hitting from 27. He has missed right from 52, missed left from 49. So this one should be right on target. They need another 15 yards. They'll go to the sideline. Flag is down. Chadwick with the reception. Patterson with the tackle. Patterson will be called for getting there too early on that one, and that stops the clock with 13 seconds. There's still not a field goal range, however. No. But with 13 seconds, they yeah, might 30, be able to get another one. 34 defense, first down. Well, Patterson got away with the first one, did not get away with the second one. Oh, yeah, he got there too soon. Got there before the well, ball. Did. That's, that was tight. That was We're tight. looking at it in slow motion. That's right. The official's right on the spot. I think he's right, but he's uh, he's calling him pretty tight. Yes, he is. 44-yard line, the line of scrimmage, 13 seconds, no timeout. Was he reacting to Chuck Knox's uh, conversation on the sideline? Perhaps. May have been programmed. Coming back underneath the coverage to Brian Blades, who was the short man on this side. Scancy was the deep man, and he missed him. He would not have been in position even at that time to to bring the field goal unit out on the field. I think they're hoping to get it to Blades, let Blades use his speed to get up the field and then out of bounds. Nine seconds time remaining, one play. I think sure. you go deep with three three receivers on this one, throw it up, hope for a penalty or hope for a good bounce. This one or the next one? Yeah. We'll I, see. I Maybe you put the three out and no, it's, it's two four and wide receivers, two on each side. Double Hail Mary. Intercepted. With embarrassing antiperspirant residue, choose Right Guard Extreme Clear. Its revolutionary formula combines powerful stain fighting technology with extra effective wetness protection. The choice is clear. Right Guard for the win. Also, try the power of the world's first clinical clear. free MSN to get the everyday web. The FBI's top agent. We find her, we find the money. Is going undercover. Sherry's got a long lost grandmother. Damn, you find. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. He's big. What's that? That's just my flashlight. He's bad. <laughs> and he's beautiful. I take a run at you. Come on now. Martin Lawrence. I forgot my key. Make the move to all around comfort with Playtex Gentle Glide Tampons. Tampax Pearl opens mainly widthwise. Gentle Glide protects as it surrounds you in comfort. Its 360 degree design conforms to your body. For ultimate comfort and protection, it's Playtex Gentle Glide. This Friday, hit it, boys. It's Muppets Most Wanted. This is what we've all been waiting for. Speak for yourself. Because oh! no other movie has this. Yes. And that. Wow. And them. Totally epic. And those guys. This is gonna be great. And him. I am Carol Man. And her. Ah. And whatever that thing is. Good time. And that and those. And that! Lights out! Turn them back on. I can't see anything. Nailed it. Love it. Most wanted. In theaters Friday. Rated PG. The most extraordinary thing about the decade of the 20s was a pandemic air of uh, optimism, a feeling that uh, the future of the country was unlimited. Uh, one of the great jazz songs of the day was uh, Blue Skies, uh, Only But Blue Skies Do I See. The president promised blue skies in the country's future. 
At his inauguration in 1929, Herbert Hoover repeated the common wisdom of the day that Americans were on their way to riches. If proof was needed, all one had to do was look at the bubbling pool of wealth, the stock market. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, everybody, oddly enough, was in the stock market. One of our chauffeurs was in the market. <laughs> if he can be in the market, anybody can be in the market. There were no regulations as we have now. People got away with murder all the time. The government didn't bother them. So they were all making money. They were doing very well. A boom in buying had driven up stock prices. Suddenly, in October of 1929, investors started cashing in their overpriced stock. A panic of selling started. On October 29, 1929, it was obvious from the opening bell that uh, things were wildly uh, amiss. At uh, 9.30, there was a, a, a rumble in there on the floor. One of the page boys said, hey, Mike, look at the, the sell orders coming out of those phones. The wheels really started to come off. The stock market went into a free fall. Crowds gathered in the street outside of the exchange. No, at 3 o'clock, the bell rang, and that was it. More than $30 billion in paper value simply vanished that day as the stock market crashed. The famous word, the crash. Over. I may be stranded, but at least I got my fruity pebbles. Fruity. A ghost. Only your fruity pebbles can set my spirit free. My fruity pebbles? Okay. Okay. Mmm, frighteningly fruity flavors. Thanks, Fred. Barney. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Most fruity yeah. all the time. This workers' cooperative coffee house was built on the site where the Indian independence movement was conceived and is still an intellectual hotbed. This is quite a place. It's kind of intimidating. I don't think I have enough degrees to be here. Calcutta is the proud city of having all the five Indian Nobel laureates. Uh -huh. No other Indian city has uh, Nobel laureates. Calcutta has five. Even today, the budding intellectuals, the new philosophers, they come and they exchange their views here. Yeah. So you never know who's sort of sitting around us, the next Nobel Prize winner. Could be, yes. Getting all because backed up on coffee right next door. Why not? of the city's population are devotees of Hinduism. One of the oldest religions in the world it is a pantheistic religion with thousands of gods. It permeates every aspect of Indian life, from the mundane to the sublime. Calcutta got its name from the Hindu goddess Kali, and her temple is a site of a very important Hindu pilgrimage. This is Kali Ghat Temple, which is a very sacred place for the followers of Kali who is the most powerful goddess there is, protector of women. And the deal is, the top god, Shiva, he had this wife, and somehow she got chopped up in 52 pieces, I don't really know how, and the big toe landed here, which makes this very sacred. There are 850 million people in India devoted to Hinduism. To an outsider, Hinduism is a bewildering sensual religion with millions of gods and goddesses, all of them incarnations of the one god. It's both a faith and a practical philosophy for living. This is Mukaji, the top priest here at Kali Temple, and he's going to lead me through the labyrinth. Show me the ropes here. My name is Mukaji, one of the head priests of this temple. Today is a very auspicious day for the Hindus. Today is the day of pilgrimage. Orphan children. How does she do that? She's a witch. Team up with a wannabe witch. My first brew. They'll meet the king of the jungle. I suppose I could do something. Please do. An underwater orchestra. Look. And 
Haunted Island Pool of Crazy Characters. Angela Lansbury in a magical musical Disney classic. Bet Knobs and Broomsticks. Sunday at 5 Eastern, 4 Central on WGN. But your body keeps going up and up. When you come over the hill, you know, it throws you. It's like throwing you up. If you didn't have a harness on, it'd throw you out of it. You drop and you keep dropping, you keep dropping, and then you come back up and there's another drop. Hill after staggering hill, speed and height. Apollo's chariot racks up nine intense drops with a total 825 feet of descent. It's a zero-G orgy you won't soon forget. Just when you think you're done going up and down, you get flipped sideways and you go around and around. For Wendy Honda, riding roller coasters is like nectar to the gods. And today, she's going to gulp down some serious zero-Gs on Apollo's chariot. We're here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. We're riding Apollo's chariot. We're taking a 210-foot ride up to the sky. from here. We are way above the trees. I think I can see my house from here. <laughs> you just keep going up. Okay, here we go. This is the biggie. Straight down. And Apollo's chariot at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia, has descended to Earth and given us mere mortals a taste of terror only a Greek god could devise. Your shoulders aren't attached to anything. Your feet aren't attached to anything. Your stomach goes to your mouth and your bottom comes up out of your seat. It seems long when you look and there's still more track and more track and more track. Built by coaster designers Bollinger and Mabillard, Apollo's Chariot is a massive, fast, smooth steel god of a mega coaster. Hidden among the lush trees of Bush Gardens and rising high above the beautiful Virginia landscape, Apollo's Chariot sends riders over nearly a mile of track at intense speeds well over 70 miles an hour. Riders sit four abreast in coaster cars open on all sides with a harnessing system designed to ensure safety and heart-pumping terror on every inch of track. It gives you a lot of freedom with your arms. It's really comfortable because it's not on your stomach, it's right on your knees. Yeah, we've tried over this run, we're trying to do a line of music about people that we admire or have admired over the years or people that we liked one song and then didn't like them anymore or whatever, you know. There's the fire. The Jet Kamikaze. World's fastest ATV. Quad racer. Jimmy is definitely cleaning the track off. Watch him as he gets ready to jet pop. Turns the afterburner on. Look at that. Oh, the brakes actually not holding it as the power is coming on. Fives are down. Timmy's getting ready to air it out. Making one final adjustment before he turns the jet bike loose. You don't think that thing would take off? Would that be On and off the throttle for just a matter of seconds. An unbelievable action for Tim Arfon. You almost don't have enough track here at the Metrodome to really get the full impact of what that thing can do. You know, I'm wondering how much room he's going to have to have the day he opens it up from pops it loose right there Timmy is on it the afterburners wide open and Timmy's headed down the track jumps off of the throttle and easing out of it on the brake shutting it down quite a ride and quite an experience kamikaze Tim Arfon 
Earlier tonight, Mike Galloway and I watched the four-wheel drive modified truck pull competition, which is all part of this great evening here at the Metrodome. Here now are some of the highlights and tonight's winning pull. Contact has been made. I am from Mars. And Tim O'Hara. Let me down! As the bruises ah! to prove it. Where's the end? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Martin! My favorite Martian. Now play. In the explosive sequel to Super Cop, one woman must go undercover to expose the world of terrorists, smugglers, and espionage.